Hello everyone, hello Shima gang, welcome to another Shima stream. My name is Shima Kai and today we're gonna play more Genshin, yay! Yatta! <laughs> uh, okay, so I kinda have been, like, how should I, how should I say this? I've been put off for playing this, from playing this. You know what I mean. I didn't want to play this because, you know, with the ongoing current voice actor strike, I heard there's not much voice acting in this story part, and I was like, mm, it's kind of boring to me personally. That that's that's the stuff that makes you fall asleep on the spot. So so we're gonna see how bad it really is. Um, we're still gonna play it on stream, of course, and I I'll try not to complain too much because you know it's the strike and that shit happens, I guess. Um, but still, to me personally, that shit is, is boring the crap out of me if there's no voice acting. And I'm like, eh. <laughs> but let's not dwell on that too, for too much longer. Let, let, let's just go go to the game screen, shall we? Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There I am, hello. <laughs> so anyways, let me just update this so it actually records my Genshin game. Hello. Hold it, there it is, hello. <laughs> and let me unmute my desktop audio, holy shit. And let's jump into the world of Tevat. If it's too loud, please let me know. I'm going to turn my own volume down a bit. Konnichiwa. Konnichi 
fucking one. <laughs> uy, 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 uy. Come on. Not so fast. Oh my god, 12 days remaining. Hell yeah, dude, I'm rich. <laughs> I'm fucking rich, mate. Oh my god. Right. On level 12? Yeah, I don't really bother too much unless I actually buy it. <laughs> now, why would you play this song, man? Sheesh. Wait. Huh? Wait, I can, I can barely see the desktop audio spike. What the fuck? Is, is the game audio that low? Wait, hold on. Let me just... No, it can't be. It doesn't really register on the desktop. Only when I walk, you, you, you can't even hear the music. What? Hello? Can you hear that? Is this alright? Wait. I need to ask someone to go in here. One moment, please. Uh, asking Carla to see if she can she can check for in a moment for me. Such a beautiful song, man. For riddles, for wonders. Yeah, like, this music is too quiet, man. It doesn't seem to really pick it up. It does seem to pick up on the walking and the grunting and such, but eh, I'm not sure. Okay, let's hope Kala gets here any moment now. It's probably has to wait for an ad. No, not the ad. God damn it. Fuck the ads, man. No one likes the ads. Sheesh. Kala, if, if you're here, uh, say Dakota. I hear your voice in the audio, but the audio is kind of low. Uh, yeah, I figured that as much. Um, I think you can barely hear the, the footsteps. And the people talking around me. It didn't pick up on the music earlier. But when I do this, like, you can hear it, I think, but not very loud, I suppose. Save it off! Okay. <laughs> I know who said what? Okay, hold on. I need, I need to... Wait, what, what the fuck, man? Genshin, please. You were good earlier. Let me turn this up quite a bit. I normally never play this much audio. Let me turn my own audio down a bit so it's not blasting in my ears. Um, what about now? Is it better now? Can I hear the music? Or do I just need to turn it up in, in, in OBS, I guess? Yes, here goes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna turn it up in OBS a bit as well. Okay, is, is, is the volume mix good now, Kala? Also, here goes, yeah, here goes. <laughs> uh, good lord, man, disgusting. I can just that up again. Yeah, there we go. Hello. <laughs> what about this? Is this okay? Is this okay, mommy? <laughs> Been to win. Go, boss. <laughs> yeah.
Yes, okay, thank you, Carla. If you want to stay, feel, feel, feel free to stay. If you've got other things to do, well, go do that, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, let's just go to the story, because that's what we're going to do today. We're going to do some more story, because I, I'm, I'm a bit behind. How, how many days do I have left to do the story? I mean, I can do it after this as well, but like, eh. Also, I need to start this event as soon as soon well. Okay, um, okay, I got three weeks left. I should be able to do it in like three streams, maybe. Yeah, okay. I'll stay. Yay, thank you, Carla. I hope the game isn't too boring because, um, you know about the current ongoing voice actor strike? I heard there isn't a whole lot of voice acting in this patch story, so maybe I'm going to have to do the voice myself, <laughs> which is going to be quite a doozy. Um, but yeah, let's go to the Stadium of the Sacred Flame. Elemental reaction. Hello. Hey, what the fuck is this quest? Wait, pardon me. No, no, yeah, that's that one. Hello. Oh, it's right here. What? Konnichiwa. I see. Thank you so much. The adventurers guild has been overwhelmed these days. No worries at all. That's why like, yay. I always valued the strength of adventurers. Given the current situation, it's vital that we all work together. Since we're facing the same enemies, I'll send you the intel we've collected on the abyss so far. Then we can take a look at how to coordinate our efforts. Nice. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shun. Hi, Catherine. It's us. Got any new commissions? You two oh. <laughs> come just in time. I've got some good news. Oh. The Pyro Archon has finished assembling her forces and stationed them all across Natlan. Good news, everyone. Given how the Abyss has ramped up its activities lately, we can no longer afford to act only after receiving news of an invasion. So the Pyro Archon suggested that the Scions of the Canopy and the Adventurers Guild focus on collecting and disseminating intel. That way, we can stay informed of everything that's happening across the land. Damn. Once we receive word of enemy activity, we can notify the nearest camp and the stationed forces can take immediate action. Is it still good, Carla? Uh, good lord. That'll lead us. That'll lead to a fast response time. Yes, precisely. This should also allow us to focus on gathering information rather than running around and trying to tackle everything at once. Also, holy shit, what, what microphone is she using? She could, she could use a pop filter, man. Holy shit. You've been working hard these days, and this will be a good opportunity for some well-deserved rest. So that's the plan. Whew, we can finally stop and take a break. I, when Paimon says, says it's just normal, but when Catherine says it's like... Now like, what the fuck, Catherine, get a better microphone. <laughs> But the threat of the abyss is still far from over. Paimon knows that. It's not like Paimon just wanted to lay here and do nothing. You float, you know you never lay. <laughs> the movements of the abyss are always unpredictable. There have also been times when it suddenly became more active in the past. The people here generally see it as something like an acute natural disaster. Oh why? Once the disaster is over, everyone will return to their normal lives. We just all hope that day will be sooner rather than later. It will be sooner rather than later. <laughs> Most people have no idea just how bad the situation has gotten in the Night Kingdom. I also hope the day of peace will come soon. Yeah. And is that Traveler and Pyma? Hello, hello. Kachina? It's Kachina. That's the first instance of no voice acting, but in, in Kachina's case, it's because her voice actress is sick and not because of the strike. Hey, <laughs> yep. Now, really, now really isn't the time to stay at home and recover anyway. I wanted to do something to help. I heard that the Pyro Archon is gathering warriors to be stationed in the more remote areas, so I came here to sign up. Impressive, Kachina. <laughs> Don't think I haven't heard about all the things that you've been doing. With everyone working so hard, I've got to do my part too. Oh, by the way, Shilolan told me she was ordered to forge you an ancient name. She said that she's all set and, and we can head over whenever we're ready. The cougar, cat milf. 
<laughs> she loaded as a true master. Not only can she forge ancient names, but also all sorts of new and fun things. She's always got a pile of commissions on her plate. So you usually have to wait a while before she finishes something. In this case, though, she's completely cleared her schedule just to work with you. She wants to give your name her full attention. Then we should probably thank her when we meet. Well, I've already signed up as a warrior, so all I have to do for now is to wait for my assignment. If it's okay, maybe we can go see Shilona together? She wouldn't turn me away, right? I mean, I hope she wouldn't. Everyone's so proud of you. Yes. Ah! On second thought, maybe I'll just find a hole in the ground to jump into a night for a while. Chapter 5, Act 3, Beyond the Smoke and Mirrors. Let's go. Go to the Children of Echoes. All the way there. Let's meet up with Shilolan. God, this region is so fucking beautiful, man. I love it. Uh. Dr. Shilona, where is she? There she is! Is that her shop? Ooh. Music! Does she have a voice? Nice earrings. Cougar! Shilolan, I bought the person who needs an ancient name. She's super amazing and I've already learned tons of stuff from her. I can vouch that she's really worthy of a hero's name. Ah, yes, so I've heard. So young and yet you've already got quite the reputation. Nice, cougar. Wait, are, are you Outlanders? Yes, bitch. <laughs> yep, we're travelers who just arrived in Natland not too long ago. No, I, I mean, I was aware that you're travelers. It's just no one told me that you're outlanders. Okay. Huh? You're saying the power archon didn't tell you? No, the only thing she said is that a new hero had pledged herself to the plan, but we need to forge an ancient name to ensure she'd be able to return safe and sound. What it? Oh my god, first some her. And follow her. Dus, 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 Duskin, Duskin 12, thank you for the follow. What's up, how are you doing? I hope your day's been well. Mine's been well. <laughs> uh, what's up? Yeah, I'm doing good. We just started the Arkham quest for 5.1, so you didn't really miss much. We we, we were like, oh, we ran into Kachina, and she was like, oh, oh, Shilolan uh, was able to, to, to make her ancient name, so now we're here, so we, you didn't miss much. <laughs> Also, um, because of the strike, there isn't there, like some some characters don't have voice acting, so I'm, I'm trying to do that myself. In Katina's case, our voice actor is sick, so yeah. And she did mention that it would be quite difficult to forge an ancient name for them, but at the time, I thought she was just commenting on my skills. Ooh. But I seem to understand where the uh, true difficulty lies now. <sighs> Girl. Uh, are you upset? No, oh, I, I wouldn't go that far. I'm used to it, really. I just uh, need a moment to process things. Fair enough. The Pyro Archon's requests are always difficult to fulfill, and uh, we used to argue a lot. Oh. Honestly, it's uh, probably for the better that she didn't bring this up at the time. Maybe. Anyway... I can't argue with her if she isn't here, and it'd be pointless to take my anger out on someone else. Mm, yeah. But, ooh, just because I understand her rationale doesn't make me any less upset. After all, she must have known that forging an ancient name for an outlander is an impossible task. Damn, and we were so close to. <laughs> it's impossible? As you probably know, an ancient name is a symbol of a hero's sparing glory, which grows even richer and heavier as generations of successors inherit it. Mm -hmm. We forge ancient names by engraving the heroic deeds of an individual who will become the first hero of that particular name. I've got plenty of deeds under my belt. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, as Arcandus Fitz recorded in their adventure handbook, it felt like they could do anything. But they were all performed outside of Natlan, correct? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. 
Then those deeds haven't been recorded by the Night Kingdom. To take it one step further, even if you had performed heroic deeds in that land, as an outlander, your actions still wouldn't have been recorded by our lands. Well, that's fucked. <laughs> Only memories and experiences that have been acknowledged by the Wild can be used as a basis for an ancient name. Man. Even the greatest of craftsmen cannot create something out of thin air, you know. That's just how it is. Welp. Seems the Wild don't want just anyone to get a name, huh? Mawika of all nah. people should know better than anyone. Yet she still entrusted the task of forging the ancient name to me. I guess we're extra special? <laughs> oh, Paimon gets it. Nobody's happy being asked to do the impossible. Yeah. Why do I feel like this has happened before? I think last time, Shilonen just ended up running dozens of laps around the hills nearby. Yeah, don't remind me. Let's just uh, focus on how we can pull this off. How to achieve the impossible. Yeah. Might as well. <laughs> what else can I do? What's happened is already done. Exactly. It's not like I can outright defy the order of my Archon. Yeah. If she gave me this order, then she believes the ancient name is an indispensable part of her plan, and that I'll be able to find a way to make it happen. Yeah, the, you don't fuck with the Pyro Archon, man. She's, she's, she's badass. <laughs> In other words, the order is an affirmation of my abilities. Ooh, yeah, you can look at it as, like that as well. She's looking for silver linings? Maybe that's just how much she and the Archon trust each other. Hell yeah, dude. Y yeah. Let's see if we can find some special way to pull this off. If we really can't make it work, uh, I'm sure we can still go back and talk to the Pyro Archon, right? The key is getting the Wyab to somehow acknowledge the Traveler's existence and record her heroic deeds. Yeah. We heard the voice of a Wyab when we were in the Night Kingdom before. We even had a whole conversation with her. Yeah. If we can talk to her again, maybe we can figure something out together. Maybe. Well, every tribe has their own Wyab. How do we know if the one you met is indeed the best one for us to talk to? Good question. Plus, considering the unprecedented nature of this situation, I have a feeling that the acknowledgement of one Wyab alone would probably not be enough. Would we need to gain the acknowledgement of all six Wyab? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. That requires a level of knowledge that I do not possess. I like the way she worded that. We need to find a consultant who's an expert on all things Night Kingdom and Wyab. The first person who comes to mind is the Ali at the Masters of the Nightwind. The one we call Granny Eats Tali. Granny! Sit Lali, Granny! I can't wait to meet Sit Lali. From what I've seen, she's really cute. Yeah. A person who can make something like that must be pretty impressive. I'm sure she'd be able to help. Dude, I love her attire. Holy shit. That was cool. Uh, still, she's older now and quite eccentric. It's hard to even book a meeting with her, Oof. given that she's constantly holed up in a room and doesn't like to be disturbed. Oh, well, shit. I've heard that to get her help, you have to be extremely <laughs> patient with her and know how to keep her spirit up. Damn. To break it to you, but she probably won't be very happy with us. Huh. Why is that? I mean, didn't she already help you before? And you even managed to save Kachina. Well, indirectly. <laughs> well, yeah. At the cost of her spirit speaker stone being split into two. Yeah, that happens. Huh? <sighs> <laughs> the sigh. Great go, Malika. We're already off to a rocky start here. Hmm. Uh, in that case, I guess your only option is to try to emphasize that this is an important order from the Pyro Archon. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, Seat Lolly would still want to show respect to the Archon. Yeah. I'll also write you a letter on your behalf. If you can find someone to deliver it and mention some good things about you, then that should help too. Yeah, probably. Oh, let's ask Eskinich to deliver the letter. He understands the whole situation and is already a familiar face to her. I'm sure hopes that Hal won't interrupt when he's talking, though. Fuck off, oh, piece of shit. <laughs> Alright, Kinich is a seasoned negotiator. I trust that he'll know the best things to say. Yeah, probably. Great! Then I'll go contact him right now. Uh, Kachina's so cute. Write the letter, and we can meet up near the statue of the Seven Leader. Sure. 
Okay. And for me, let me just go grab a drink real quick. <laughs> Whoa, there I am, hello. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Eh. Sorry about it, I suddenly had to pee as well. But I better do it now than later, I guess. <laughs> Alright, sit down correctly. I'm a, bit, I'm a bit cold, actually, what the fuck? It's 20 degrees in here, it's not that cold. But, like, at the same time... Whoa! I'm also not really wearing much clothes anyways. <laughs> Let me just put a blanket on top of me. There we go. Oh, nice and warm and soft. Oh my god, I love it. Mmm, so snug. <laughs> Alright. Let's go to the of the seven. Run, Navia, run. Konnichiwa, motherfuckers. Can you just make your way over every some time? See, Kenichi also isn't voiced here. <laughs> This is this is because of the strike down. You made again. Kachina told me everything. I'll deliver the message to the master of the Nightwind and convince Tilali to give you a chance. I'll also take this chance to explain what happened to the Spirit Seeker Stone and offer her an apology in person. I'm sorry to put this on you, Kanich. It's just that you're probably the only person who knows how to deal with her. Look, Scala, thank you. Mama, mama, kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> it's alright. We're all working for the sake of the Pyro Arkham's plan, after all. Everything here understands how dire the situation has become. Oh, wait, so Kachina and the Traveler also know about the plan? Yeah. Hmm, because we all saw a hero of the past rematerialize right before our eyes. And then Mulani said a ton of knowledge and memory suddenly flooded her brain. The Pyro Arkham explained everything when we came back from the Night Kingdom, including the reason behind the appearance of the hero. As well as the current state of the Night Kingdom. Right. She mentioned there are six heroes and that Shilonen is one of four that have already been acknowledged. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, then I suppose there's no need to keep any secrets between us. Having companions walk by your side is perhaps the best solace when facing such a bleak reality. True. <coughs> oh, pardon me. Okay, if I have to burp, uh, that's because I just uh, took my medicine as well, so excuse me for that. So if you find that disgusting. Oh, damn, you're playing very good. I've got some skill. Oh my god, no. Are you a bot? Are you a bot? No. No, I had hope, man. Why would you do this to me? No. No. No, like, this already gives me, giving me red flags, man. If, if you're gonna say what I think you're gonna say, you're, you're gonna get your ass banned. Well, you know what? Just, just fucking say it. Just say it. 
So I know to be sure, okay? Just say it. What 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 do what do you want? What skills do you have? Tell me. Show me. Prove me wrong or right either way. Whatever. I have another piece of intel to share. We've pretty much identified the person who rescued the captain in the stadium of Sacred Flame. His name is Oleron. And he also hails from the Master of the Nightwind. However, he spent most of his life living out in the wilderness by, by himself, away from the rest of the tribe. That's why his disappearance went unnoticed. By the time Silali finally realized that he was gone, no one had heard from him for quite a while. Uh, Silali knows him too? Well, they're from the same tribe, so yeah. That's right. Oron was an orphan raised by the chief of the masters of the Nightwind and many other kind-hearted people in his tribe. Still, he's had something of an odd reputation his whole life. Odd, huh? Given how the Masters of the Nightwind love to babble about dreams and revelations, they're already a pretty strange bunch to most. Yeah. I've never met Auroran, but if they consider him the odd one, he's got to be pretty far out there. Bruh. That's right. So in that sense, Auroran and Silali actually have quite a bit in common. Which is why they get along pretty well, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. But Paimo wonders how Seat Lolly could be the first one to notice Aurora's disappearance if she spends the whole day in her room. True. Also, so far, the, the non voice acting is decent, I guess. Like, half the voice acting, half is not. As of now, we still haven't been able to confirm whether Aurora joined the Fatui voluntarily or if he was coerced. See, Lolly's probably eager to prove that Aurora hasn't betrayed his people. I plan to use this as leverage when I go to talk with her. Oh, so if I'm following, you mean we'll help her investigate Roron and the captain's whereabouts? Yeah. Yes. If we're all on board with the idea, then it becomes a mutually beneficial collaboration rather than just a one-sided request. Even though I don't, even though I don't think Silali is the kind of person who turned down an order from the Pyro Archon, working together with us will help her focus and not get attracted by the whole Oron situation. Here we get two birds of one stone, hell yeah, dude. Well, so we kind of owe her one anyway to make up for breaking the spirit speaker's down. Yeah. Ah, this is a pretty well thought out plan, as expected of Molly Poke and each. Molly Poke? Then, uh, yeah, I'll leave my letter to you. Let's hope Seat Lolly can meet at the stadium in two days. Okay. Sure, I'll die right away. Oh, yeah, I think. The Master of the Nightwind tribe isn't unlocked. I think that's actually... I know there's at least one more tribe coming in, in 5.2. In the new area. Um, We have three tribes unlocked right now. There are six tribes total. So maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, but we will get at least one more tribe. I think that's maybe the Nightwinds. But I'm not sure. The carrot I can each. I'll be heading back as well. There's still a few things I need to pack. Okay. Then let's part ways for now. I'll see you in a couple of days. Went until morning of the day after tomorrow. Let's do this shit. Let's become God and move the time forward. Uh, this should be morning. 7.44. Good morning. <laughs> and good night again. <laughs> And good morning. Is this okay, mommy? Yeah. Let's ask her how things have been going. All names are noble. Wait. I read it somewhere. Don't I need to do this quest for the one for the one event or something? Wait, one day? What the fuck? Dude. Ah oh, shit, do we really need to do all of this? Oh my god. I need to do this as quickly, I guess. <laughs> hey, Shilonen, how's everything going? Oh yeah, there it is, there it is. There it is, motherfucker. Fuck you. Get banned, asshole. Fuck ass bot. Fuck off, dude. Stop giving me hope, piece of shit. I hope you short circuit, man. Fuck ass. God damn, dude. I hate you. It's always a fucking... Why is no fucking new person, like, legit, man? Why is it always a fucking bot? God damn it. Why do I have to deal with this shit? God. Okay, let's do this. Oh, hi. 
Traveler in Paimon? It's me. I have uh, bad news. See, Lolly did not reply to our request. Although, I suppose I'm not too surprised. Wait, she, she didn't even reply to it, what? Huh? You mean she didn't even bother to give Peach a response? Guess she really does have quite the ego then. Damn. Yeah, well, she can be also quite eccentric, though she's one of the most gifted people around. Even the Masters of the Night went off and struggled to work with her. My guess is that she probably has other reasons for not deeming us with a response. Hmm. But let's go to the stadium and see if we can meet her there. If we do get a chance to talk to her in person, we can still try to work something out. Maybe. That's true. Let's go. Let's go. It's a me, Mario. I love you, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back to the stadium we go. Over de berg en door het moeras gaan wij naar oma Bob. Okay, that, that, that is a very old school reference for, for the Dutchies out there. <laughs> Do we see her actually? No, no, she's not here, damn it. In the cutscene maybe though? We have a stadium of sacred flame, but especially Lolly's not there, god damn it. Paimon doesn't see anybody. Seems she's just not gonna show up, huh? What a pussy. <laughs> well, we tried to be as considerate as we could, but she's under no obligation to help. Oh shit. That might be true, but this is still a request from the Pyro Archon, right? Shouldn't the subject always answer the call of their Archon? Yeah. <laughs> a subject? Well, if you ask me, I'd say we're all more like friends with the Archon. Yeah, man, we're the same age, somewhat. <laughs> yes, Mawika is our leader, but that doesn't mean there's any kind of tall barrier between us and her. Hmm. The only thing is that she often has very high expectations of us. I can tell. Huh. So even though she's super powerful, it sounds like she's actually pretty down to earth and easy to get along with. Yep. Unlike the old hag Granny eats to Lee, right? Does she think she can ignore us just because she's seen us? Uh oh. There she is. Some kind of huge deal, but she didn't even bother to reply to our letter. Seriously, if she didn't want to come, she could at least let us know. True. If that's what aging does to you, Paimon never wants to get old. <coughs> oh, really? Oh my god, there's dark. So that's how you see me. Oh my lord. <laughs> this is obvious, dude. I, I, I won't. Uh, <laughs> oh my lord. If looks could kill. <laughs> huh? Who's there? Who's talking next to Paimon? What? Nani? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just a disgruntled old hag, right? Uh, come on, relax. I'm sure my bark's worse than my bite. Oh my. Huh? See Lolly. Huh? Nani? See Lolly? Your Granny Eatsley? Yes, Granny Eatsley. But emphasis on Eatsley, not Granny. Bruh. Dude, if, if all the grannies look like that, then goddamn, I would have some weird kings. <laughs> oh, you must know this trope from light novels, surely. They use it all the time. The young man who's actually the oldest person in the room. Also, what's like this? Oh. Who turns out to be a seasoned veteran. The wise sage who looks like a little kid. I like her face markings, not gonna lie. Oh, wipe that look off your face. You've seriously never seen an older lady that doesn't look her age? <sighs> okay, well, don't go thinking it's a trick either. See? I'm barely wearing any makeup. Sorry, I, I, I want to post more screenshots. <laughs> She's a little screwed, I fuck with her. Not literally, but well, maybe someday, but <laughs> God damn it, okay, sorry, I'm 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 turning a bit bound down bad, sorry, okay. Let's just open this and open this. Did I forget to mention? She's called Granny, but uh she's actually pretty young. Yeah. And you were complaining about the power arc and leaving things out. <laughs> it was an honest mistake. I guess we've just gotten used to it. Bruh. Nice eyes by the way. Dare you? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady her age? Bruh. Uh, Paimon really didn't mean to offend you, it's just that uh, your case seems really unique. Oh, Paimon just wanted to 
apologize, but now she's putting more and more of her foot in her mouth. Yeah, really I feel that by Mon. Bye when I understand you exactly. I got I understand you completely. <laughs> Look at this alpha pose, man. Look at her. Oh my lord. <laughs> Let me just pose this creature like every ten seconds. <laughs> God damn it, dude. It was my idea to invite you here, seat Lolly. So if you're upset, you can just take it out on me. <sighs> All right. I was only joking. I didn't mean to chastise anyone. There's really no need to take all this so seriously. If anything, I'm gonna feel awkward if we keep this going. Well, what's with the shitty microphone quality? What the heck? I received Kenicha's letter and was planning to attend this meeting. Since I had already decided <laughs> to come, oh my God. I figured there was no need to draft a reply that simply said, Understood. Besides, just showing up is the most important part. No? But, of mm. course, it's also natural for people to get held up by one thing or another as they're trying to leave the house. <laughs> it certainly was a bit awkward to see that everyone else had arrived before me. Bruh. At first, I was thinking of quietly sneaking over, but since you were already here waiting for me, I started to think about how I should phrase my apology. There's eyes! I hear you all talking smack about me. Oh my days. The eyes, dude, the eyes. Like, first Kachina at the start of Netland, and now freaking Silani as well. Like, I love it when they have the, that, those Ultimates eyes, man. So cute. <sighs> anyway, that's the whole story. Uh, <clears throat> honestly, it's not like I owed you an explanation, anyway. Oh. Uh. Gotta sit up, man. Put your bag into it, man. Sheesh, man. Okay, now what? Huh? What's with that expression? Was she feeling embarrassed just now? Oh my god, we can mind read each other. Is she... Is she waiting for us to carry on the conversation? Everything she's saying sounds like a joke, but I'm not sure if I should laugh. Would it be rude to laugh, or even more rude not to laugh? When the masters of the night winds said they struggle dealing with her, huh, I wonder if the feeling is mutual. Mm -hmm. uh, she seems to be pretty awkward herself. Everything she does and says seems a little forced. Hmm. <clears throat> anyway, Shilonen, I heard that you require my help in crafting an ancient name. So she has a cryovision, I think? Yeah, that's a cryovision. Correct. The situation isn't like anything we've handled before. Let me explain. She only explains Pyrocker's request as well as the difficulties she's encountered. Oh, I see. So Mawika has asked you to forge an ancient name for an outlander. Well, that would be a first. Wait, this 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 is something else. What? Also, I guess the V in the name is silent. Ma Mawika. I can like Mawika more than Mavuika. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and you've also heard all about Auroron. I must say, he's always been a good kid. I can't see him joining the Fatui of his own volition. He must have been coerced somehow. Well, no, won't you find him? Yeah, that's what we came here to ask you. We'll help bring Auroron back if you help us solve the problems of forging the ancient name. What do you think? I like how her like goes into like this thing here. Like that's cute. I suppose I'll just call you Traveler for now. Everyone calls me Traveler. Come here. Let me take a good look at you. I'm not a dog. Is she blind or something? Oh. <laughs> hmm. She's reading my palm. Oh my, Granny! Nani. What the? Hello? Wealth leads to unending conflicts between people. Yet you alone transcend the value of gold. Ooh. Baleful thunder and wrathful waves bring terror to mortal hearts. Yet again and again, you've braved them to find new worlds. Damn. A weary yet free soul, even the most verdant leaf in the forest, will pray for your happiness and safe passage. Oh my. 
Excuse me, what's all that supposed to mean? <sighs> Those are all the things that I could see in you. You've experienced far more than even most mortals could dream of. You possess the heart of a sincere hero, along with the conviction to lift a torch above your head and walk headlong into the night. Hell yeah, dude. Huh? Don't move. There's something here. Nani? Ghosts! Huh? Spooky month. Don't scare Paimon. Is the Trevor gonna be okay? Ah, shoo! Gesundheit. <laughs> oh, that should do it. You've just returned from the Night Kingdom, so some fragments of souls were still stuck to your body. No need to worry. I've just cleared out the last of them. Oh my, I'm gonna cut my nail real quick. Because it's just bothering me. This little edge of it. Ow. Fuck. Bitch, it hurts. God damn it. Oh well. In a way, maybe? Uh, it's nothing <laughs> as serious as that. If left unattended, the most it could do is stir up some chaos in your mind. And generally worse in your mood. Also, yeah, I was right. It is spooky month and spooky shit happens. Well, in that case, better to get rid of them. True. Thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. It was nothing. Thank you. <laughs> Shilonen, let's follow your proposal. Once you've brought Aurora on back, I'll take you to see the Lord of the Night. Ooh. The Lord of the Night? But don't we need to talk to the Wyab of the tribe? But is the Wyab, you fool? Something this important is beyond their jurisdiction. Oh. Only the Lord of the Night can decide whether we can grant an ancient name to one who does not hail from our lands. Oh my. But who is the Lord of the Night? The Lord of the Night is an ancient entity that rules over the entire Night Kingdom, oh. constantly borrowing the power of the Sacred Flame to combat corrosion from the Abyss. Oh. oh, so you're basically saying it's even more powerful than the Wyab of the Tribe. Yeah. Well, that sort of makes sense, being the Lord of the entire Night Kingdom and all. True. Uh, not exactly. It's what? It's not so much that one's more powerful than the other. Uh, but never mind. <laughs> That's not important. It would take too much time to explain. I guess it's not so much about power, but more so about authority. Like, look at look at look at my Wika. Like, she is strong, but her power is dwindling. Yet she still has the authority of an Archon. Just listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. The Lord of the Night is currently in a deep slumber, oh. and we can only communicate with its consciousness while in a trance. In other words. In a dream. We go back to Sumeru. <laughs> but I will need to prepare a few more things if we are to hold a ceremony to achieve the state of the trance. I'll make a list. Can any of you get everything for me? Sure. That's what we do best. I can go. It'll probably be a long list, so better leave it to someone who knows all the local vendors. Also, that that's also a good point. Sounds good. Then we'll go with Sweet Lolly to track down Aurora. Yeah. Oof, the Fatui are nothing to scoff at, so please, be careful during your investigation. If you need any help, just come find me. Yep, we'll be sure to play it safe. Fuck the Fatui. Except father, father is cool. <laughs> Alright, now it's time for us to catch that brat and bring him back. <sighs> oh, she can finally let loose now that she's alone and he's gone. Oh, uh, I'm sorry I made you wait earlier. It was actually because I decided to swing by Auroran's place to look for clues. I love her outfit. Like, goddamn, it's, it's simple but effective. Like, if anything, I do want to roll for her, if possible. <laughs> he has always lived alone. And I found a broken jar in his house. There was also something off about his phlogiston aphids. Which I assume is because their keeper has been gone for quite some time. Oh, shit. And interestingly enough, I saw some slash marks in the house that did not match any of our local weapons. My guess is they were left by Snezhnaya arms. Okay, but seriously, is it their microphone or, or, or did, did Hoi versus do a bad job do, putting her voice in the game? Because uh, first we got Kef Pat Catherine, but I also see Lali with the shitty ass the voice. Like, what what the hell happened to the pop filter or anything like that? What the heck, man? Oh, sounds like the Fatui broke into his house and took him hostage. Like, when Pyro says it, it sounds normal, but like, what the fuck, man? Like, it's it's bothering me. I'm sorry. But why would they kidnap a kid who just spends his days living in the country and raising aphids? 
He's only in his 20s. What would they want with him? Yeah, so so I think maybe it's because of the strike as well that's that is such bad quality voice, but I don't know, man. Like I don't want to shit on the voice actors or anything, but like it, it's just bothering me. Like why is it like this? Uh, that's not to say that I believe he's totally innocent, of course. Since he's the only one who was kidnapped out of everyone in Natlan, he must have done something to attract their attention. Maybe. Well, I mean, I mean in a way I'm also just glad this voice actor to begin with. You know? In any case, we'll get to the bottom of this once we manage to get him back here. I'm truly sorry to put you two through all this trouble with me. But uh, please help me get him back. Sure. Yes. All right. Then let's start by heading to where Auroron was seen last. Okay. All names are noble. To win the smoke drift. Also, I'm gonna search for something up. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so actually it's made out of two quests. We just did the first one, now we're on the second one. Okay. I mean at least I know how far I am into the into the quest, you know. This is for my own 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 sanity so to speak. Okay, one kilometer away. Okay, about there. Let's go there. Ohio Gosaimasu Down there, okay. Okay, this guy. <laughs> Do -do -do. Oh, hi There's treasure over right there. No, I want it, man. Fuck, dude. So well. Gonichi fucking wa. Oh, it's night. Okay. Uh, this is the spot. Shilani is cute. <laughs> An eyewitness claimed to have seen Auroron speaking to some Fatui soldiers here. Oh my. I don't know how much you're willing to believe me, but Auroron really is a good kid. I see no reason why he'd suddenly get involved with the Fatui. Me neither. I'm convinced that what the witnesses saw was actually the Fatui coercing him, or perhaps trying to extract information. I don't know. Uh, however, I doubt anyone would believe me. Given there are no signs of a fight. Man. Even Kanich say that she's a big name in that land. Feels kinda weird to see her so frustrated and helpless like this. Could you tell us a little more about him? Auroron? Well, he was left at the side of the road as an infant. And the people of the tribe took him in. You could say that everyone had a hand in raising him. Hmm. He learned a lot from us. And once he reached adulthood, he built himself a house out in the countryside. Oh. He spends most of his days growing vegetables and raising aphids, living off of what he harvests from the garden. Nice. <sighs> He's always been such a good kid. He would even get his friends to deliver whole bags of fresh produce to my place. Hmm. If that's all there is to him, then he really doesn't sound like a bad person. Oh well, let's keep looking. He can answer all of our questions once we find him. Look at your eyes. So pretty. He's been raising phlogiston aphids for a long time. And since they were disturbed, they secreted a special type of phlogiston. We can use that substance to track his movements. Oh my god, we're gonna find him by, by, by tracking poop. Hell yeah, Let's dude. follow the phlogiston trail. Huh? What trail? Paimon doesn't see anything. Oh, right. I forgot your eyes don't naturally perceive such things. Girl. Uh, here, give me your hand. I thought she was gonna give us glasses or something. <laughs> mm. 
Brr. Ooh, magic. The gathering. <laughs> huh? Nani? Uh, how about now? What do you see? I can see the trial now. Yeah. Barely, but I can still see it. Nice. That's right. I used a spell to temporarily transfer a portion of my senses to you. For a short while, you'll be able to see the phlogiston too. Nice. Wow, you can even share your senses with us? First time Paimon's heard anything like that. Mm-hmm. It requires a very rare spell that most people aren't adept at. But don't worry, it's a cinch for me. Between the two of you, it seems the traveler's senses are a bit stronger than Paimon's. Uh-huh. <laughs> Lumi's like, yeah, bitch, fuck you. <laughs> when I held your hand just now, I could sense that you've got a great affinity for phlogiston. You're extraordinarily gifted. Like always. Anyway, we'll need to use our vision now to track down Auroron. Good luck, you two. Thank you, Granny. You're cute. Kiss, kiss, Wait, mama. I love this song. Uh, what was nah. that? Na 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 na. Oh, was just complimenting you. Na 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 Such a pretty song, man. I love it. But well, that was short. What do you mean by deep and confusing? As far as elderly shamans go, I'd say that I'm already pretty easy to talk to. <laughs> Is there any other old hag who's as fluent in the language of the youth as me? Bruh. Uh, but is my way of speaking still not trendy enough? Bruh. I've already tried my best to match their speech patterns. But given the looks on their faces just now. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Or perhaps I'm still not fashionable enough? Go, I love your outfit. That can't be, right? Ugh. Don't tell me they're still getting the impression that I'm super old-fashioned. Look at you, you're wearing a loin... No, not a loin... What's it called? Th that thing. Uh, huh? Nani? Wait, we can hear her thoughts? I think I just heard a voice, wait. But it wasn't with my ears, it was all in my mind. See Lolly's voice? Yeah, because we got a part of her power, I guess. She found her the same voice, but she also looked like she understood what's going on. Let me think. Ah, it must be the side effect of the spell she cast. Uh, now that I think about it, it's a good thing I found some helpers this time. Some things are best done with the help of friends. Ah. Uh, so now we can hear her thoughts through, telep through, through telepathy? Wow, this is amazing. Something like this could only happen with Lali. They appear to be feeling quite confident. It looks like our work will go smoothly. <laughs> nice. You bet, just leave it to us. That's cute. Hey, looks like there's a new camp over there. Konnichiwa. Okay. Uh, wait. The phlogiston here is a bit odd. Nani? Let me see. Okay. <sighs> Nani? Paimon sees a small shape here. Could it be some sort of symbol? Is it? This is a distress signal for the masters of the night wind. Only someone from our tribe would recognize it. So Auroron was indeed being threatened. Oh no. We've got to find him. Fast. Oh yes. Uh, leaving such a subtle mark implies that he was trying to be deceived. In a special subtle? In other words, 
he was probably under the Fatui's watch. She said subtle, but it said inconspicuous, okay. Uh, if they notice us, we can just charge in and fight them to the death. But, uh, but what if my darling grandson is also there? I can't have him caught in the crossfire. Grandson, so she really is a granny. Uh, no, I've got to be careful. Otherwise, he'd get hit as well. Uh, how annoying. <sighs> no. No, I've got to stay calm and keep my composure. Got to stay calm, got to keep it down. I mean, it probably means the same thing, but... Still weird to, to, to hear something different than that's written there, but oh well. I can cook! Well... Now I can cook. <laughs> Let's see, I can make some of these, I guess. Nice. What else do we have here? I want healing items though. Blue souffle, okay. Why like not, I guess. Get some proficiency in this. I shouldn't linger too long though, because you know, the event and such. La 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 Hope you're doing fine. How's your day been? My day's been good. <laughs> We're doing the Genshin story quest for 5.1. Uh, I'm cooking right now, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm doing good. Thank you. I, would, I, would, uh, I hope your day's been good. Good lord, man. <laughs> Wait, no. Uh, hold on. I could make some of this, I guess. Rip. That's great, I'm fine. Okay, cool. And did anything happen today? Or well if you don't want to tell, that's also okay, but you know. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Hope you're here to stay for a while. <laughs> I know I'm not the most entertaining person out there, but you know, I'm trying my best. Uh wait, where does where does the straw go? What the heck? Am I blind? Wait, no, it goes here. What? Okay, gotta follow the path, I guess. Where does you get it? Uh a friend of mine made it. <laughs> I could, I mean, I, I could link you to him maybe later. There are traces of people staying here. If you can remind me later. <laughs> oh, wait a second. The phlogiston around here is jumbled up. Nani? Oh yeah, it's going in different direction. What the heck? I can also smell a mix of elements in the air. Pyro, electro. And some other elements as well. The Fatui. Oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was just a little edit, sort of. I just follow you on X. Oh. Well, I, I, I can take a look at that real quick. Well, let me see. Uh, la, 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 la. No, you did not. <laughs> No, you did not follow me there, man. Stop lying to me. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, la, la. open this, open this. There we go. Leech told us that you were super amazing. No wonder you can sense so many more things than us. Yeah. Huh. Huh. It's about time that little brat said something nice about me. <laughs> <laughs> she can hear it, of course. <laughs> there are signs of a struggle here. Judging from what's left on the scene, there must have been a fight. But after that, the factions seem to have gone their separate ways. Mm -hmm. Both the phlogiston and the elemental traces in the air support that. Yeah, it seems like that. She's like, oh, I found a chance to fight back. Do you still remember the little mark we found before? Paimon's thinking, what if Aurora... But I, I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it, dude. I f fucking knew it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Two bots in one stream, man. Assholes. 
do that. Like, like, like when they said, oh, nice profile picture, I was like, mmm, that's a red flag right there. <laughs> I fucking knew it, man. God damn it. Two bots in one stream, dude. What the fuck is this shit? God damn it. Okay, can I look pretty worried? Indeed, judging by the distress signal from before, Oron was being held by the Fatui, so given the difference in numbers, he probably wouldn't have been able to overpower them. Given there are two signals leading from here, we should split up as well. Sure. Be careful out there, Granny. I'll take this direction and leave the other one to you. Gala, you're we'll still here? Again later. Okay. <laughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> What are you doing? It's one thing to trouble me, but now I had to bring other people into this as well. Ah, oh, you little brat. She really is a granny. <laughs> and out she goes. Traveler, did you hear all that as well? Yep. Once he while we left, that voice went away as well. Paimon even tried calling her name inside Paimon's head, but there was no response. So does the if he doesn't go both ways? Yeah, it seems like that. Oh, you were thinking the same thing. Paimon also thought that if we could hear what she was thinking, she could probably also hear what we were thinking in our heads. I don't think she lally knows anything. She did say that she was quite adept at this spell. And it doesn't sound like she's had any trouble with it in the past. Huh, maybe we're a special case and can hear her thoughts as a side effect. Maybe. <laughs> if you think about it, she's really got a lively inner world. It paints quite a different picture from Paimon's first impression of her. Yeah. <laughs> Right, let's move up. It's a deer! Shika no ko no ko no ko kosh tan tan. Shika no ko no ko no ko kosh tan tan. Shika no ko no ko no ko kosh tan tan. Wanna make a photo? And, and post it on Twitter. <laughs> She can no go, she, she can no go, no go, no go, gosh, done, done. Copy that. And paste it a few more times. She can no go, no go, no go, gosh, done, done. She can no go, no go, no go, gosh, done, done. She can no go, no go, no go, gosh, done, done. She can no go, no go, no go, gosh, done, done. Do, 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 do. Okay, back, back, back to the game. I got distracted by deer. Blame, an, blame anime. Let's follow them and see if we can find anything up ahead. Yeah, they're still, we're still going, going this way. Yes. Look, look at long boys over there, man. Mm, I love them. They're amazing. I love me some long boys. <laughs> and a baby long boy as well. Oh, that's cute. Oh, there, there's a thing here. Okay. Konnichiwa. There are traces of phlogiston here, but... Did you find something? No. I found some traces of flo 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 I, I can never fucking pronounce this word. Phlogiston. But they're completely as here. Uh, but we can't tell where Aurora might have gone from here. That's weird. The phlogiston trail suddenly stops. We can't make anything of these footprints either. Wait a minute. But he can't have just evaporated into thin air, right? We know he wasn't alone. He had all those Fatui with him. Yeah. Ben was right. This is all extremely strange. It's also... We can hear the sounds of the wind from beneath the earth. What? Huh? Who's first was that just now? Whoa, what the fuck, dude? Wait, Paimon? Dude, these effects are wild, man. Holy shit. Silent Hill motherfucking has effects. <laughs> Whoa. Nani? Am I in the Night Kingdom? Holy shit. I am. The Night Kingdom? How did I get here? I'm very sorry, but please do not move. I have no desire to hurt you. Okay. Nani? 
I apologize that our first meeting has to take place like this. It's just that you're much like one of those animals with ears that perk up as soon as it senses danger in their environment. Okay. And given your combat proficiency, I would not have been able to gain an advantage over you if you were anywhere else in the world. However, you're now in the Night Kingdom, a familiar domain to the masters of the Nightwing. Okay. Hello, traveler. Your name is cool. I'm Aurora, the one you've been searching for. Okay, he's pretty cool. Apparently, he's a four star, and people are upset that he's just a five star. I mean, look at him, he looks like a five star. <laughs> but what does that mean? Have you escaped the Fatui's custody? Ah, the Fatui's custody. I see. So even Granny has told you that I was coerced by the Fatui. I'm afraid you've been brought here by a lie. Like a false omen in the lingering smoke. Daddy, it's a very good lord. <laughs> My friend and I only left those traces to lure you here. Your friend? Deceiving you was never our true intent, however. It was simply the fastest and most feasible way for us to set up a meeting. It's a captain. Greetings, traveler from afar. Il Capitano. Be careful with this traveler. Her soul is temporarily restrained by us, and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. It's taking all my concentration to hold on to her. Oh my. It was I who tasked Aurora on with leaving the traces to lead you here, and I who used the Master's ritual to bring your soul to the Night Kingdom. So, you're working together. What do you want? I've heard much about you from the past encounters you've had with my colleagues. Given the present situation in Natlan, I would like to sincerely request a formal meeting with you, in person. Dude, look, I, I, I bet he looks freaking handsome under that mask, dude. I will use the opportunity to explain my goals and motivations to you, as well as why I mistrust Malwika, the Pyro Archon. Nani? I believe there is little reason for you to blindly follow her plan. Excuse me, you're the Fatui, I don't trust you. If you would like to hear our intel, then find us to the east of the stadium. But remember, not a word of this to anyone. I would like to avoid any further conflict. I mean, I'll, I'll hear you out, but I'm, I'm, I'm making up my mind. I mean, I, I, I'm choosing my own path here, man. You will see me again once you return to reality. No matter what I say, please help me keep this a secret. This is all to avoid dragging Granny into this conflict. Damn. Back to the, back to the fact we go. There we go. Uh, 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 oh my God! I'm awake. Konnichiwa. Uh, I'm fine. Was my soul forcibly removed from my body just now? That would explain why I couldn't hear Pokemon at all. Hey, why are you sitting on the ground? Are you okay? Yeah. See, Flowey! She froze for a moment and then just collapsed to the ground! Could it have been those leftover remnants from the Night Kingdom? Do you have any itches or pain anywhere? I'm fine, just a little lightheaded. Uh, don't worry. We can take a short break. Sorry, I know I asked for your help. But had I known you were feeling unwell, I wouldn't have taken you on this trip with me. It's okay. If they were being truthful, then they must have reasonable motivation for what they did. But should I trust them? I could just share a stream of power and right now, but that doesn't mean giving up on the leads. I still haven't had much dealings with either the Fatui or the Masters of the Nightwind. I suppose I'll stay quiet for now and see if I can find out anything else. No, Pyron's worried. Said, you should just say so. See, Lolly should be able to, uh, exercise <laughs> any ghosts or weird stuff that you picked up in the Night Kingdom. Bruh. A seasoned traveler must know the importance of not pushing yourself beyond your limit. If you need anything from me, just say the word. Thanks everyone, I think you're fine now. In any case, let's take a bit more time to rest now. Sure. 
Even though the situation remains quite urgent, you take a longer break with Paimon and Zilani. I'm not worth still arguing with Paimon and Zilani could agree to eyes on you, even if we weren't on another checker. What? Need to be more careful next time. Sorry, I need to read it fast. <laughs> Feeling better yet, traveler? Yeah. All right, let's get ready. I followed my phlogiston trail earlier to a stronghold guarded by soldiers. I have a feeling that Auroron is probably being held inside. Oh my. Oh, so it's close by. Then let's head over right away. I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize I was holding you up. Well, I recruited you to be my helper, which means we're in this together. Like the wind and the clouds. We either move as one or not at all. Yeah. But if you want to make it up to me, then just be sure to fight extra hard when the time comes. Hmm. <laughs> okay. The one the smoke drifts. Need to pick up some of these as well. Damn green fruit, dude. She can knock her, knock her, knock her. Gosh, tan, tan. Don't trigger the thing, don't trigger the thing. I need to pick these up. No, okay, okay. At least I could pick these two up. <laughs> Look over there. Hello there. Huh? Paimon thinks she sees someone in the middle of the camp. Oh, yeah, there he is. That's a roar on. So he really was taken by the Fatui. Damn. So that's a roar on. He does look the same as when I spoke to him in the Night Kingdom earlier. All right, we'll take the lead. He's pretty cool. Electro. Hmm. Quit daydreaming. Don't you have work to do? Kosorlitsky? Fucking Russians, man. I cannot see the sun. Uh, what? Nani? Without the sun, I cannot see the truth. You are currently blocking the light, so I must beseech you to move aside. Hmm. Huh? Okay, Mr. Philosopher. That's enough mumbo jumbo. Bruh. <sighs> wow. I'm going to rip that guy's head right off. Oh my granny, that that that, that that's really violent, okay? See, Lolly's struggling to control her temper now. <sighs> Are you ready? Let's go kick their butts. On my count. Three, two, one! You don't fuck with granny! You're still trying to resist? You've got no idea who you're up against. Oh my god, I love that. Are they dead yet? Oh my god, reinforcements. Alright. Got him. <laughs> Konnichiwa, oh, it's raining now. Granny. <laughs> Greetings to you too, other uh, granny. Excuse me. What did you just call her? Granny. Is that not right? You are granny's friend, are you not? You seem to be approximately the same age as her, so I figured you're also a granny. No. How many times have I told you? It doesn't work like that. There are a lot of people who look about the same age as me. You can't go around calling everyone Gramps or Granny. <laughs> hey, tell that asshole. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. He's not a child, is he? Don't tell Paimon he's one of those people who look like an adult but are actually only eight or nine years old. Oh, your words have pierced my heart like a thorn vine. Given how hard those thorns are to remove, I may just need to find a pair of tweezers. Bruh, this guy. <laughs> Of course I'm not a child. It's just Granny always taught me to show gratitude where it's due. And since the masters of the night wind raised me collectively, I basically see everyone above a certain age as an elder I should look up to. Okay, that's kinda cute actually. The way talks has definitely changed, but I don't feel like he's putting on an act. He asked me to do whatever I could to help keep things a secret and even said it'd be for Silali's sake. Should you have one like they're just your uncles and aunties? Exactly. Or grams, or grannies. Uh, but if you keep that up, then everyone's going to be your senior. 
Hm. And do you think saying all of this is going to save you from a scolding, Auroron? Dude, I love his tattoos, man. That's awesome. Oh, this is David with that song. <laughs> Haven't I told you a hundred times since you were a kid? Heed the three warnings. All right, Grandma, calm down. Be wary of bees prowling around. Scammers looking for their next victim and strange people who appear out of nowhere. Oh, so hmm. you do remember and you just chose to ignore them. I always knew that living on your own was going to get you into trouble sooner or later. But getting kidnapped? <laughs> that really takes the cake. <laughs> she ain't playing around, man. Holy you shit. You won't always be able to rely on other people coming to your rescue, you know. You're just lucky we got here when we did. Or we might be launching another search and rescue operation to find out where they put your severed head. Bruh. I'm sorry, Granny. I'll be more careful next time. Next time? <laughs> oh, good one. You think there'll be a next time after this? Not a chance. Bruh. Yeah. Relentless. <laughs> <sighs> they didn't hurt you, did they? No. They just asked me a lot of questions about Natlin's terrain and made me draw a map of the ley line distribution. Okay. okay. Now answer me honestly. Were you the one who helped the captain escape after his battle with the Pyro Archon? Yes. Well, at least he answers honestly. So why did you do it? Because... Because they said they would need my help from there on out. They also said that if I refused, they'd just come to you, Granny, and they'd already figured out a way to make you do their bidding. Oh, no. Hey, I'm no ordinary Granny. Would they really dare to come after me? And you! Did the gods give you a brain just for you to not use it? Mm -hmm. Did you really believe everything they said at face value and not stop to think? Oh, thankfully, the Pyro Archon only asked that we find the mysterious individual from the Masters of the Nightwind and didn't slap your name on a wanted poster. Hmm. Don't think for a second that she doesn't know what's happening. Even if the truth that you see will soon manifest into reality, there is still no need to preemptively panic. Have you forgotten the words that I've taught you? I'm sorry. Hmm. Oh, forget it. We can submit the details of this camp and the defeated Fatui as evidence of your innocence. Let's clean this place up and get back to the city. Hmm. Auroron, you better remember this lesson well and seriously reflect on your actions. Also, once we return to the city, come to the speaker's chamber with me. I'll need you to explain everything. Okay. Sounds good. Should I bring some of my homegrown vegetables as well? You're... Vegetables? His vegetables. Yes. I grow a lot of fresh produce in my garden. I hope the Pyro Archon won't be too picky about the selection. Hmm. Uh, now's not the time to be thinking about that. If you do come face to face with the Pyro Archon, the first thing you should do is... Recite the three warnings. Huh? Uh, no. <laughs> you should emphasize that you were not in cahoots with the Fatui. How exactly did the Masters raise this guy? <laughs> He's a weird one. Right. Treasure chest! Need to grab the treasure chest. Oh, it's one of those motherfuckers, goddammit. Kill him, kill him, kill him. No, you fuck. Kill him, kill him. There we go. Nice, not too bad. Kaboom! <laughs> Right, let's go to the stadium. But first, let's heal up. <laughs> what? Okay.
Thank you, mate, for the heals. And grab this. And grab these. <laughs> these what? These nuts. Okay, got them. <laughs> Alright. Let's go to the chamber of the what's it called. <laughs> You turn to the city and Silali brings you to the speaker's chamber where you recount everything that has happened to Auroron. I see. So Auroron came to the captain's rescue because he promised to help him in exchange for Silali's safety. That's right. I'm sorry. Now that you know Auroron was only trying to protect another member of his tribe, could I ask you to petition the Pyro Archon for her forgiveness? We'll hmm. give her a full report. We'll let you know once she's reached a decision. Will I need to stay here? Technically, yes. But if Miss Seat Lolly is willing to serve as your guarantor, then we can release you from custody. Okay, that's nice. Ah, uh, sure. I'd be happy to do that. I don't have any more time to waste here. I still have other things to do. Okay. Understood. Thank you very much. Mr. Auroron! Please report back to the speaker's chamber as soon as you've received notice of the Archon's decision. Okay. I understand. Thank you. And thank you too, Granny. <laughs> well, at least you won't need to hide your face anymore. True. Traveler, Paimon, thank you very much for your help. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about my side of the deal. Once Auroron is settled, I'll go talk to Shilonen and get started on forging an ancient name for you. Yay. I'll be counting on you. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. It's as good as done. <laughs> you can just go twiddle your thumbs or something while you wait for the good news. Bye for now. Thanks, Lali. You're cute. <laughs> come with me, Auroron. You've got to find you a place to stay for the night. Hmm. Goodbye, other granny. This new grandson of mine is way too polite. <laughs> The look on his face, he's probably trying to remind me about my promise. He does show me as a liar. Had I not seen everything for myself, I'd have never guessed that he could have done so much work behind Silali's back. What does he really want? Paimon, there's something I need to tell you. Huh? What is it, traveler? You pulled Paimon aside and tell her everything that you saw earlier when you collapsed. What? Keep your voice down, you bitch! <sighs> Probably doesn't have much power there either. <laughs> oh, that what is he up to? He sounded earnest enough just now. Paimon would have never guessed anything was happening. Yeah. All that stuff about protecting Seat Lolly and being forced to help the Fatui when he's actually been a willing accomplice all along. I'm still not completely sure. Yeah, you're right. So Paimon appreciates you telling her about this. Paimon will support your choice no matter what. So if you want to go, we can go together. Thanks, Paimon. We still have another whole day before the meeting, so we'll just meet with them when the time comes. Okay. Wait until 8 o'clock next day. Okay. There we go. Okay, so it does continue, or, or I guess not. <laughs> Staring into my eyes is ill advised. Shut up, Arlequino. I can't promise you'll like what you see. Shut up, I'm moving. Okay, <laughs> just kidding. All right, let's go to the meeting point. Let's see what they're about. Treasure chest? No, you fuck. What? You dickhead? Okay, wait. What's a grain food here? What the fuck? I'm gonna grab a few. If you don't mind. Thank you, thank you. Alright, grab a few of them. There's one other one there.
All right, all right, all right. Oh my, look at this. Hello there. Nice little camp out here. Weird. Hyman doesn't see anyone. Oh, please don't let this be a trap. Yeah, please no. Huh. Hello there. What was that? Bruh. Good evening. Nice to see you again. Oh, it's you. You shouldn't pop up from behind people like that. What are you, a ghost? <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. It's just a force of habit. Bruh. Uh, and what's with you apologizing all the time? You sound so polite and honest, but you're actually doing shady stuff behind people's backs. Whoa. You're right. Granny tells me that too. Huh. Come to think of it, you remind me of her. Sometimes you two sound really similar, you know. Bruh. Wait, there's teleport over there. What the fuck? Did you not get that yet? What the hell? Oh, so you're gonna call Paimon Granny too now? Well, you do have white hair. Well. I could. So what's the purpose of the meeting? Hmm. hmm. What? It's all clear. Over to you. Captain? Excellent. The fact that you showed up proves that I was right about your character. I'm only interested in the intel. I don't really care how if Dewey thinks of me. Yet. <laughs> There's been a lot of talk about you. Child told me that you're passionate about the unknown and willing to take risks. Rather than facing you as an enemy, I would much prefer to bring you to my side. Well, no, you're for Dewey. Go away. I love your fucking outfit though. Look at that shit. You really is the captain. If we allow the current state of things to continue, we will inevitably clash. And that's a scenario that I'd very much like to avoid. Why? I've long heard of your exploits across the nations. Though you have crossed swords with my colleagues many times, I know that you are by no means an unreasonable person. Hmm. And once you've learned the truth that the Pyro Archon Malwika would never willingly share with you, you may just find it in your heart to consider my proposal. Oh? I assume you've already been informed of the Pyro Archon's plan. In order to defeat the Abyss and save Natland, she still needs two more heroes to appear. Wait, how hmm. did you know that? Uh, never mind. Guess that's not important now. Bruh. I've long kept a close eye on her plan. To be frank, it's an exceedingly risky plan. Will the heroes really appear? And even if they come to her, will their power be enough to drive the Abyss back? Good question. If any part of the plan goes awry, all of Natland, even all of Tabat, will pay for her mistakes. Mm, yeah, probably. Now, you may have been led to believe that this is the only plan available to her. But what if I told you she's had another emergency plan all along? Mm. The details of which she has chosen to keep hidden from you. So the black stuff is actually his face. Hmm. Huh. An emergency plan? Yes. A way to keep Natlan intact, even if her original plan fails. But given the painful cost of its execution, she has chosen to keep it as a mere backup plan. Whether this mm. stems from hesitation, fear, or even naivete, I cannot say. But Natlan cannot afford to wait until she comes to her senses. Okay. <sighs> what are you aiming at, Captain? My fear is that given the enormity of the decision, she will be reluctant to confront the dire reality we face until it is too late. There will be no time left to execute the backup plan, and all of Natland will be lost to the abyss. We Damn. have to make the decision for her, here and now. That's just your speculation. Yeah, do you have any evidence for all this? Just telling us a bunch of scary stuff isn't enough, you know. True. Besides, wasn't it you who tried to seize the Gnosis for the Tsaritsa plan? Wait, by seizing the Gnosis and making the decision for her, could he mean that... No, it's something to do with this backup plan. I knew you to be clever enough to see. That's right. I did not seek the Gnosis for the Tsaritsa. Since I was defeated in battle, I must put to rest my thoughts about the Gnosis. But even so, my desire to save Natlan remains unchanged. Hmm. And now, I have found a new way to solve the crisis. 
We can implement it immediately if we reach an agreement. Okay, but what is the plan? <laughs> Someone's watching us. Huh? Someone's here. Huh? The captain disappeared. Something is rapidly approaching. Oh no. The granny. Something. Bad news, chump. <laughs> it's your granny. Bruh. <sighs> Holy shit. knew something was amiss after we were separated. Hidden ceremonial tools, an unconscious traveler. I must say, I'm very curious about what you're up to. Huh. How dare you go behind our backs like this, Auroron? Colluding with the Fatui? Really? Bruh. Uh. Nice playing coy. Oh, here we go again. Cat got your tongue, huh? You really think you can avoid a scolding just by staying quiet? I'm not trying to avoid anything. Oh, and now you're talking back. Well, go on then. Explain yourself. <laughs> what the heck are you up to? Damn, she, she's really not fucking around, dude. I'm sorry, Granny. I feel so guilty. Ah, uh, you! That's it! Where are my tools? I swear, if I don't teach you a lesson right here and now, I'll... Please calm down. We uh, still learned a lot of info, didn't we? Like the fact that the captain isn't trying to seize the gnosis anymore. So maybe just save the scolding for later, okay? Yeah, there's no place to discipline this child. Uh, listen well, Auroron. You're only getting out of this now because of the traveler's plea. This is a Looks less, yeah. <laughs> you hear me? Uh, you're right, traveler. Let's go. We can discuss this more back in the city. You two keep an eye on Auroron for me, okay? Okay. Our conversation with the captain was interrupted at the most crucial moment. But if Auroron's still here, maybe we can still learn the rest from him. Maybe. <laughs> Wait, where, where did he go? He went up there. Way to the stadium? What? Oh, I need to go back to the stadium. River War on? Oh, I see Lani, okay. Uh, in all my years, I've never had a child cause me so much grief. Do you seriously not see what's at stake here? You've got a head on your shoulders, Auroron. Use it. Damn, that was a whole lot of different dialogue, but okay. Why did you help the captain? And I want the truth this time. Uh. <laughs> no answer? Think you're being smart? Hmm. <sighs> then let me ask a different question. What does the captain want? What is his purpose in Natlan? Good question. Uh. <sighs> really? You're just going to stonewall me? Bruh. Looks like Oron has no intention of answering her. <sighs> just Use your brain for a second. What do you possibly stand to gain by helping the captain? Only endless trouble awaits you and everyone in the tribe. Mm -hmm. You've always been a good kid. Why would you throw that all away now? If you're worried about something, just talk to me. Granny would much rather we had a conversation instead of constantly clashing like this. Oh. Um. I... Why is he staring at us all of a sudden? I'm sorry <laughs> that you have to hear all this. Well, it's definitely a little awkward. Indeed. It's like going to visit a friend at his house, only to suddenly hear your friend berating a naughty Saurian. Uh, sure. Well, that's an oddly specific analogy. Wait, did one of your friends really do that? Bruh. <laughs> yes. And every time my friends scolded his Saurians, they would look at me the same way you're looking at me now. Helpless and embarrassed. Hey, <laughs> but you're the one getting your head chewed off. <laughs> uh, indeed, you've got a point. Then please just hang in there for a little while longer. Granny should be done with her scolding session soon. Bruh. Oh, she's back. Oh? Do you dare gossip between yourselves instead of listening to me? You. Uh, sorry, sorry, Granny. <laughs> <sighs> sorry, Granny. <laughs> sorry, Granny. You know what? Fine. I'm perfectly aware that everything 
I say goes in one ear and out the other. You're all grown up now. So why would you listen to an old hag like me? Damn, she is uh she has some issues. You say all the right things, but then you go and completely ignore me. Well, if that's how you're going to treat me, you can stop sending Eva over to my place to deliver your stupid vegetables. I don't need anything from you. Um, who's Eva? The delivery person? Ah, that's irrelevant. The point Blah. is, he hangs out with this kid, so he must be no good. <sighs> you kids get to a certain age and suddenly act like you know it all. There's nothing I can say to get through to you. Auroron, <laughs> if you're still thinking about that so-called duty, then please, just forget about it. The ley lines did not fall to this state because of you. And we've long closed the book on that incident. Mm. Uh, seems they've started talking about some kind of tribal history. I'm not starting to get lost. Yeah, true. That's not it, Granny. There's something off about that voice. I know you tend to get down on yourself when you're upset, but I can tell I really hurt you this time. All I can say is I'm sorry. His voice? Auroron! Where have you gone? What? It sounds like he's somewhere super far away, but isn't he right here in front of us? What the heck? I'm really sorry. It's up to all of us to do everything we can to save now. But what is an illusion? Get back here this instant! Auroron! Uh, what is this? Powder from plant spores? Is that the trick he used? Damn. What just happened? How was he able to suddenly get so far away like that? Oh, it's a trick of his. If you grind spores into a powder and spray it in the air, it can be manipulated to create an illusion. Bruh. He pulled it off flawlessly. He must have put a lot of time into perfecting it. Don't tell me that's how he's been hunting in the fields these days. Oh, couldn't he have picked up something more useful? Damn. Ugh, little brat. That's it. The next time we meet... I'm definitely going to break his legs. Do it. Whoa, that's a little extreme. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Still, why does he feel like he needs to run from us? If his goal is also to protect Natland, then can't we work together? She doesn't want to tell us anything about his goals. Uh, I'm sorry for interrupting your conversation with them earlier. But even if you'd been able to hear them out, there's no guarantee you would have gained anything substantial. I don't know, maybe. Auroron probably did everything he could to get away <clears throat> because he knew I'd get the truth out of him sooner or later. Oh, that brat. I swear. <laughs> I swear on me, mum. <laughs> the captain probably has some sort of substantial plan. Otherwise, Auroron would have no reason to keep following him. Minigan is out of the cards for now, so it might be faster to just approach the Pyro Archon and confront, confirm what the captain said, and also... I can tell that Auron's stubbornness has hurt Silali deeply. I need to find a way to comfort her. What was all that about Auron's duty earlier? Uh, uh, we've got quite a long walk back to the city. Let's take our time. It'll give me a moment to figure out how to explain all this. Hmm. Fair enough, I guess. Are we done yet? Still too much smoke drift? Come on, dude. There's still another quest in this, in this act, man. What the fuck? Bruh. Oops, wait, hold on. Uh, la, la, la. There we go. Alright, back to the stadium. Dude, this path is wild, man. What the heck? Oh, I'm still... I'm, okay, I'm still going. <laughs> Oh yeah. So surprise me there's like a huge there's like a whole city in the stadium man, like what the heck? Hello? Konnichiwa. Do you two have some time? Feeling hungry? How about we get something to eat? Sure. Alright, it's been a while since we last ate. Now that we can relax, <sighs> Well, then let's go. We can find somewhere to sit down and talk. Food and drinks are on me. 
It's okay, we can go over our own bill. But I'm gonna go to Secret Food Fund so she can do all the honors. <laughs> <laughs> that face, she's like, Paimon? Paimon, are you for real? One meal to the best guide into that. <laughs> so you can just sit back and enjoy, Sweet Lolly. Paimon will take care of it. Hey, come on now. You won't even let me take you out for some food and drinks? <sighs> I just wanted to treat you to a meal. Uh, are you sure? We can save you some Mora. Mm. <laughs> uh, Mora is the least of my concerns. Besides, we're definitely due a meal after all the time we've spent together. Fair enough. Let me get this one. I might be an old hag, but I like to think I'm not completely useless. Hmm. Sure, that's fine with us. But Hyman doesn't want you to be sad, Sweet Lolly. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm sure a juicy grilled steak will work wonders. Oh. Oh, a well-made steak. Oh my god, this is delicious. Like, steak is, is, is not my go-to meat, but... Like, mmm, where you go out with friends to eat something and they have that, 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 that juicy steak. Like, oh my god, it's just fucking delicious. But I also see steak as somewhat of a luxury food. Like, I, I won't eat steak, like, I, I won't buy it in the supermarket, so to speak. Like, steak is one of those foods that, 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 that I think you should only eat at a restaurant. But that is my opinion. Anyways, let's go to the end, shall we? Yeah, I was about to say, I should probably go through this door. <laughs> uh, good word, man. Disgusting. Right, here's the inn. Konnichiwa, motherfuckers. Three of you walk into the tavern and find quite spot to sit. You know, Pound orders some food and fruit juice while Silani begins chugging down bottle after bottle of wine. Oh my lord. Aww. Aww. What are you looking at? Your mom. Uh, do you see two people standing by the door? They look like spitting images of each other. Are they twins? Granny, are you into some some kind of you know what? I'm not gonna judge. <laughs> Bruh. But I might only see the one person there. <laughs> huh? Oh, how could that be? <laughs> uh, I guess my mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. Give me another bottle, boss. I like drinks with Lani. I'd be surprised if she wasn't. There you go, miss. Oh my. Thought every day you get to see Granny Itsley here with some friends. Not to mention ones who've made a huge name for themselves recently. It's a long story. Oh, so you've heard of us? <laughs> of course I have. Hmm. Aren't you the ones who saved Kachina and brought her back? No wonder you hit it off with Granny Sweet Lolly. She wouldn't spend time with just anybody, you know. <sighs> I don't even remember the last time I saw her with a new friend. <laughs> Wait, so you call her Granny too? Well, given our ages... It'd probably be more accurate for me to call her my great great granny. What? <laughs> She's one of the most famous people at the Masters of the Nightwind. Most days, hardly anyone even dares talk to her. How old is she? Holy shit. Uh, gossiping about me right in front of my face now, are you, Chanka? Mm. Oh, please, Granny, I wouldn't dare. I'm just beyond happy to see you bring over some new friends. After all, any friends of our regulars are sure to be great customers too. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Go on now. I'm sure the other customers would like to talk to you as well. There's no need to keep staring at me. I promise I'll keep my alcohol down until I leave. Well, you're a bit too late on that one, Sitlani. <laughs> well then, you have my thanks. <laughs> After Chanka leaves, Silali downs a few more glasses and begins to stare blankly into space from her chair. 
You start wondering whether she's actually drunk or working through some complex problem in her head. What? Uh, <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Menacing. <laughs> Love of personality. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> uh, okay. Back to the game. Wait, I did post this, didn't I? Wait, hold on. Let me double check. Yeah, I did. Bruh. Okay. <laughs> There's eyes, man. Calling me by my first name. Uh, uh, let me guess. You want to test your skills against Granny Eatsley, don't ya? So I guess her full name is Sitlali Eatsley. Huh. Uh, are you still with the Sitlali? You're kind of talking to no one. Uh, you chumps come around here, picking fights with me. Well. You know what happens next. You lose, and then run off home to tell <laughs> everyone about how I'm this big, scary bully. It's always the same oh, story. Oh, my lord. <laughs> you brats start it, I finish it, and then I end up with the reputation of being some kind of terrible monster among the shamans. Bruh. <laughs> Granny Sitlali, you're not a monster at all. No. Exactly. And while we're at it, I'm not some lazy slacker either. Between meditation, advising the chief, and <laughs> speaking with the Wyab, I actually have a pretty packed schedule, you know. Okay, this is uh Okay, you looked. <laughs> Well, it doesn't. It only counts if it's below the hip, I guess. But still, <laughs> this pose, man. Good lord, <laughs> it's just great. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, and I have to mentor all the new kids. Hey, new kid. Yeah, you. Because <laughs> I'm a new kid. Uh, don't play dumb. Didn't I teach you how to find float, Justin? Uh. You see. I know my stuff. I'm a good teacher. You tell him. <laughs> Thank you for your teachings, ma'am. Oh, that's more like it. About dang time someone showed me a little respect. Yeah, Granny's a hard worker, all right. <laughs> you can always rely on old Granny. <laughs> Bruh, <laughs> I, I, I fucking love her, man. She's, she's amazing. <laughs> With her eyes open. Oh my god. I thought it was some kind of visual glitch, but oh no. Behind this pitch black curtain, a chapter of hatred reveals itself. Behind the smoke. The lingering smoke. What? Uh, she's meditating again. She does this whenever she's had a few too many drinks. Her mind's actually racing at this point. It's quite the opposite of sleep. Oh my. Is this another specialty of the Masters of the Nightwind? No, I'd say it's an ability that's unique to Sitlali herself. While she can easily pick up everyone else's skills and tricks, few have been able to master hers. Oh my. Warning, warning. Red, red, the color of danger, has now arisen within that pair of eyes. What? Huh? Oh my. <laughs> Are you awake? Uh, traveler? Paimon? I... You... What's wrong? You! Uh, oh! I'm gonna hurl. Hang on, just keep it in. Uh, oh my god, did she actually voice act that, that those, those are sound okay, effects too? It's past. Uh, that was a close one. Or maybe you just have to burp, let it out, man. Like, I, I, I have the same thing. You had Paimon worried. Paimon really thought you were about to barf all over the table just now. 
<laughs> uh, how embarrassing. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. That's never happened before, I swear. I've never thrown up. Not once. We didn't ask about it before. Are you feeling okay? Wanna take a quick walk and get some fresh air? That could, that could help, yes. Uh, uh, there's so much that I want to say, but I can't. Why? Why not? Of course you can. Just say whatever's on your mind. Yeah. Uh, please, Paimon. It's not as simple as you think. We've only known each other for a few days, right? What would you think of me if I were to start dumping all of my complaints on you after we've only just met? Uh... Oh, Paimon gets it. You're hoping that we wouldn't think less of you no matter what you're about to say. Uh, no, that wasn't my point at all! <laughs> Seriously, don't you youngsters know anything about shame? Bruh. I'm talking about shame! I've lived all these years and still can't get rid of it! Surely, you know the feeling too? Do you have... Do you need... Vagisil? <laughs> um... Actually... <laughs> about that... Should we just tell her? Huh? Tell me what? Yeah... This is as good a time as any! About her drunken dungeon? Alright, sit Lali. Listen carefully and try not to get too upset. You shared the events that took place during Aron's rescue as objectively, fairly, and impartially as possible. Silali shared some of her senses with you through a spell, allowing you to temporarily hear her thoughts. Uh, oh my. Uh, this is so... Y you heard... You heard my... It's okay, Silali. You had every right to complain about those things. Uh, I can't take it anymore! Why do these things happen to me? Oh no. Hearing me mumble under my breath is one thing, but hearing what I mumble in my own head? That's too much. <laughs> it's just like when you're rolling on the floor in your pajamas, but you forget to lock the door, and someone bursts in to deliver cabbages and sees the whole thing. Oh my. So that, uh, happens to you a lot. I wonder what their jammies look like. It's probably really cute. It happens to people in general, okay? <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're 200 years old or a thousand years old. Everyone rolls around in their pajamas sometimes. I was just picking something generic. Right. <sighs> Are you okay? You look dejected. Take a walk with me. I have things to share with you. <laughs> the eyes. <laughs> Everything and accept their fate. We should follow her just to make sure she doesn't do anything stupid. <laughs> Poor shit, Lolly, man. She deserves better. Good board. Okay, where to? Wait, what? Up there. Up there, there's so much bloom. Room. There's so much room. Where, where babies burp and flowers bloom. Everyone dreams I can dream to. Up there. Something. How do I get there? Up here? Oh yeah, I do get up here. Cool. Konnichiwa. Give me your hats, man. I want the hats. Damn it. Oh, oh, hello, Catherine. Now that I'm walking past you, add Astra applesauce. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you the first time. Okay. Rat. What do you sell? Oh my. Well, you know what? I'll take your entire stock. <laughs> I'm really taking this dinosaur, what the fuck? My cabbages! My spuds! <laughs> My weed! <laughs> My beans! <laughs> Glorious beans! Okay, wait, uh, I guess I go here now, maybe? Yeah, there we go, look at this! Hell yeah, dude! Okay, nice! 
Konnichiwa. Ah, oh, well, great view, right? I love coming here by myself. It is a great view. Look at this shit. That's great. That's background worthy. Great view indeed. Thank you for bringing us here. Yeah, this it really is beautiful. <laughs> You're making me want to cry. Oh, come on. Oh, no. What did you do? Please don't cry. I was an expression, okay? A figure of speech. <laughs> I'm just... Uh, embarrassed. Here you are thanking me. Even after you helped me all this time. Oh, come on. Let's just have a casual conversation. It's easiest that way. Okay. Really? You don't seem like the kind of person who keeps things casual. <laughs> well, I guess I used to be more of a stickler for the rules. Okay. And you're right. I don't usually open up to the people of my tribe like this. Hmm. I'm just an eccentric old hag to them. That story's been passed down so long. It might as well be true. Nah. But you're just a regular person. <laughs> uh, the kids of my tribe would have a heart attack if they heard you say that. Granny Eatsley is a powerful figure. Be careful around her. That's what they'd say. Nah, I mean, yeah, you are powerful, but nah. Well, Some are. Others are mad I always come out on top. A few decades like that. And people stop knowing how to deal with you. Man, I feel that. What about you? Are you scared of me? No. We don't find you scary at all. Diamond's right. Huh. That's because you're not from my tribe. You don't know how many delusions of grandeur I've destroyed just by existing. Girl, calm your tits. I make people realize that no matter how hard they work, they'll never become a living legend like me. Oh, uh, not to brag or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's hard to believe. Just, just pretend I never said anything. <laughs> There's faces you're like, mm, yeah. We Faith in your abilities, and Aurora didn't seem scared of you. She thinks of you as his granny, right? Yes, but Auroran's a special case. Maoika already told you about her plan. And you've given so much help to Aurora and me. You deserve to learn the full truth. Auroran's not like other people. As I mentioned, he was abandoned as a child. Ooh, break story time. The reason being... His soul is incomplete. The masters of the Nightwind view this as a bad omen, capable of bringing about illness and misfortune. Oh no. No one knows who his parents were. He was just left on a rock in the wilderness. It's a miracle he wasn't devoured by some wild beast. Yeah. The masters of the Nightwind believe they can see human souls. And in Auroran's incomplete soul, they saw a possibility for Natlan. A possibility to turn mm. Auroran into a vessel for lost souls. Oh my. The ceremony would allow lost souls to gather within him. Auroran would then be sent to the Night Kingdom to return the souls to their rightful place, strengthening the ley lines and completing the ceremony. Oh my. Wait, that doesn't sound right. Sending living person to the Night Kingdom. Wouldn't it just kill him? Now you see the problem. When damage occurs to the Night Kingdom, the souls held within disperse and remain adrift. 
Unable to find a way mm. back to the ley lines. This loss of souls damages the Night Kingdom even further. Oh no. The ceremony can send back countless souls at once, which would benefit the Night Kingdom and the souls themselves. Of course, the vessel, Auroron, would be sacrificed in the process. Is Auroron one of the champions? I wasn't surprised the chief at the time came up with the plan. The ley lines were already in a terrible state. A suitable candidate for the ceremony appears, and now you have the chance to make things better. Of course you're going to take it. When the chief asked for my opinion, I didn't give my approval, but I didn't object either. So they went ahead with the ceremony. It failed, and Auroron escaped with his life. Uh. <laughs> Pathetic, isn't it? By not objecting, I basically gave them the go-ahead. Maybe they didn't have my explicit approval, but it's not like I did the right thing. If the ceremony was successful, Auroron would probably be dead. Man. Of course, in my tribe, death is rarely something to fear. But what kind of message would we be sending by sentencing a newborn to death? By using a human life as a tool? It's not right. So, when I learned the ceremony had failed, I was ashamed by my inaction and absolutely relieved by the result. Mm. The plan was never a secret. Or, First I just... should say, okay. there was no point to keeping it a secret. A simple investigation from Auroron would reveal everything. Oh. Everyone thought he would be happy he survived. And he never really said anything to the contrary. Hmm. But just as I was about to put all of it behind me, he asks this question. Would Natlan have been saved if the ceremony succeeded? Good question, actually. He knows that, but he still feels guilty. Auroron has a strong ability to perceive souls, more than any of us. He understands just how dire the situation with ley lines has become. Okay. Maybe he chose to work with the Fatui because he still thinks he owes a debt to Natlan. I can only imagine what they told him. Hmm. Captain say he found a way to solve the crisis. Maybe that's what brought Auroron into this. Anyway, we can't just let things go on like this. We have to convince him to come back. Yeah, this should be our next step. I you don't look so good, Suit Lolly. Maybe you should head back and get some sleep. Hey, look a little pill. Uh, probably drank too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Uh, the fresh air is doing me good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Forget that. I need to go home. I hit it a little too hard. Don't worry, you don't have to do any of this alone. Uh, you've helped me so much already. How do I even begin to thank you? Hey, Suck my dick! Okay, okay, just kidding. Good point. Well, I'll go home and get some sleep. We can figure out our next move in the morning. Yeah. Friends. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Aww. So happy. Bye. Shane. Auroran's probably back with the captain, don't you think? Hey, we should tell the power arc on what we learned. About the backup plan. Do you really believe what the captain told us? She needs to know regardless. Yeah, you're right. We should just go to her directly. But she's probably we can find her first thing in the morning. For now, let's... <laughs> yeah, let's go to bed. <laughs> 
Buguei. Uh... Yay, complete. We don't do the interests, okay. Wait, where do I go down? Shit. Oh, it is back here? Uh, yes, it is actually. Jump! There we go. <laughs> nice hardcore parkour. Something noise outside waits. What do I need to conclude for this? Uh, X4, motherfucker. Damn, dude, I'm missing out. No. Whoa, what the heck? Cool. Nice. Okay, what's happening outside? Silali, Silani. Oh, oh my God. Silali, yeah, good it. I was just about to come get you. Wow, you're up early. Oh my ass, goddamn. After all the drinking last night. <laughs> oh, let's not bring up last night. I'm embarrassed about the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I was also woken up by the commotion. Looks like all the warriors from the stadium are on the move. Oh no. I heard many areas have been attacked by the abyss, including the masters of the night wind. I need to head back right away. Yeah, they don't send a chance against you. The abyss attacked again? Are you sure you can handle it on your own? Do you need our help? I'll be fine. We also have the support of the warriors stationed at the various outposts. Given the quick response, things shouldn't get too serious. Yeah, the I hope so. could always use more manpower, so you should join the forces here. What about the Roron? I'm done making excuses for him. He's not a child anymore. He needs to take responsibility for his actions. Yeah. I was the one who vouched for him, so I need to report back to the Speaker's chamber. I'll accept however they choose to handle the situation. Hmm. But I should be able to convince them to let me go back to my tribe first to deal with the attack. Yeah, probably. That's probably the best thing. <laughs> As for the ancient name, once we handle this crisis, I'll talk to Shilonen right away. Don't worry. I never forget a promise to a friend. Be careful. Thank you. All right, I need to start heading back. Shilonen's in a hurry. The situation must be really serious. Yeah, or at least you talk to Marvika uh, first. Oh, looks like a lot of people are heading to the stadium. All right. Oh. Oh, Mulani and Jessica and what's her face? Over here. Oh, perfect. Our star Outlander has appeared. So far, there's still a lot of voices. Maybe for the next act, there, there isn't. <laughs> Yeah. Just my way of saying how awesome you are. We've got a real emergency on our hands, so this is the perfect time for you to show off your skills. The Mulani's voice is also pretty. What the fuck is it? What the fuck is the microphone quality? All right, like, can we get a quick rundown of the situation first? The Abyss suddenly attacked the Collective of Plenty, the Masters of the Nightwind, the Children of Echoes, and a number of our camps and outposts in the wild. Hmm. Yes, and the attacks are increasing in frequency. The tribes have plenty of defenses, so they're safe for now. But I can't say the same for the adventurers and merchants stuck in the wild. Okay, there must have been something wrong between the voice actors and, like, the studio or something, because some of these voices are really bad quality. Not gonna lie. And I have been searching for survivors and treating the wounded. We just got back, but we need to head out again soon. 
I plan on heading back to the Collective of Plenty, just in case my tribe needs me. What about you, Mulani? Where are you gonna go? Back to the... I'll go help the children of Echoes. Okay. <laughs> They're the closest, so I can start fighting right away. What about you guys? We could go together. New Doctor the Pirate Orca first. Yeah, that does sound important. Oh, there she is. No worries. Just leave the children of Echoes to us. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe yours truly will have the abyss on the run by the time you're finished. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, that would be pretty great, actually. I hope my tribe gets through okay. Yeah. It'll be fine. Your tribe doesn't do all that bodybuilding for nothing. Let's part <laughs> ways here for now. Most importantly, be careful, everyone. Oh, and some of us need to avoid getting contaminated by dangerous looking substances. That will make my job a lot easier. Fair. Koichi, do we really have to do this now? Girl, shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's alright. She's just looking out for everyone. Alright, let's mm -hmm. hurry up and talk to the Pyro Archive so we can help the others. Yeah. But is it from gate? Yes, it is. Is it? Yes. Cool. Konnichiwa, Mawika. Look at her, she's badass. It's you two. As you can see, things are not looking good right now. People across Natlin are in danger. Uh, then you hear her voice, and she she sounds normal. She sounds good. That's good quality. What what happened to the voices, man? Look, I'm very interested in your recent adventures, but this is not a good time. So we'll have to keep our conversation short. Okay. Yes, Alright, we're also in a hurry. We're gonna go help the children of Echoes after this. We met the captain. What? Nani? Did she, did she just blink when I took a screenshot? Yes, she did. Oh my god. Okay, wait for it to blink. Never mind. Well, no, no, I was, I was in time this time. Nani? You tell my week about the brief meeting with the captain and Elrond. So he thinks my plan is too risky. He thinks I'm being stubborn. Can I know to do what he said? I shouldn't underestimate the Fatui's ability to gather intelligence. The Gnosis does have that function, but there's more to the story. Okay, tell us. I will answer you honestly, but you must help me keep this a secret. Okay. I can use the power of the Gnosis to save Natlan, but it comes at a heavy price. No more power, Arkham. D destroy your throne. The Gnosis would drain all the souls and memories from the Night Kingdom what? and weave them into a giant net, which would surround the ley lines and protect them against abyssal corrosion. Oh my. Wait, you can use souls to weave a net? Yes. It means sacrificing those souls. Ah. Process. Souls are just another form of life. The cruelty of this method is self-evident. Mm. The Night Kingdom not only houses the souls of the dead, but also our memories and legends. Using mm. the Gnosis means converting all three into material for the net, erasing our history and culture. No, that's not good. Even then, the net can still become corroded. If we cannot find a way to repair the damaged ley lines before that happens, then all those sacrifices are for nothing. Damn. Given the enormity of the price, it's a solution I refuse to consider right now. I want us to win, but I also care about how we win, and what that means for us in the end. True. Now it's true. Both plans come at a risk. But after weighing our options, this is our best bet. Don't sound like something an Arkham would do. Natlan is unique among the nations of Tabath. Given the ever looming threat of the Abyss, the Pyro Archons had to account for the worst case scenario. Mm. Having a contingency plan is our duty. Not just to the people of Natlan, but to all who live on this continent. Okay. Still, this has always been a well kept secret. I'm very curious how the captain learned this information. True. One more thing? The captain said he found another way to solve the problem. Could be equally as exciting. Yeah, we don't know about his plan. Without the Gnosis, he should have no other option. But I see no reason for him to lie. 
Seems like our only path forward is to track him down, so he can answer that question for us. To look at those hips, man, good lord. The Power Archon just shared an important secret with us, and she seems sincere. Figuring out the captain's supposed new way of saving Netland is the key. Judging by your expression, you must have doubted me, even if just for a second. Maybe a little. I mean, gotta be honest. Just as expected. I appreciate your sincerity. Maybe it was out of caution, anxiety, or simple curiosity, but know this. No matter what, our goal remains the same. We both want to save the people of this land. Yeah. So now that you have your answer, do you still doubt me? Nah. <sighs> you scared Paimon. Yeah, we got a lot of Oops. That's a good thing. Oh, and feel free to call me Mawika. It's what all my friends call me, and I like it that way. Okay. As for the captain, the intelligence officers we assigned to the Fatui should be back soon. We'll get our answer then. Okay. That's great. Sounds like we just have to wait a little longer. Are they going to text the beginning of the real disaster? Not just yet. Even though the Abyss is attacking several locations at once, I'm confident the warrior station in those areas can handle it. Mm, I hope so. Don't worry. I just need to finish coordinating our available manpower, then I'll take a small team to handle the difficult locations. Wait, you're going to fight in person? Ooh. Didn't you give up your power? That's true. I'm far less powerful than a god in my current state. Mm. But don't forget, I was an experienced and powerful warrior before I ever became the Pyro Archon. True. No matter how you look at it, my duty is on the front line. I'm sure you're an inspiration to all your warriors. <laughs> I just think there's strength in numbers. If the people feel emboldened, that's just a bonus. Nice. Anyway, even if we respond to these threats in time, it's not a permanent solution in the long run. I've considered moving my people to other nations, but given their close connection to the Night Kingdom, a forced evacuation would have devastating consequences. Yeah. I've told the chiefs of each tribe to strengthen their defenses and advise people against leaving their settlements. Now, I just need to find the right time to disclose the true nature of the crisis to the people of Natland. Oops. Paimon's a little worried about how people will react. I think a lot of people will join the fight. Yes, but that won't be the only response. In any case, that's for me to worry about. I'll let you know when we have more information on the captain. Okay. All right, we should head out. Maybe we can join up with Moani. She can't be too far ahead. Yeah, let's go. Stay safe, Mawika. <laughs> no need to worry about me. I am though, because you're Bay, and 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 I need to be with the Bay at all times. All right, let's go to Children of Echoes. Which is a little bit away, but not too far, I guess. <laughs> Hello. Quick, over here, to safety. What's with the voice acting, man? What, what's with the quality? Oh, look at Christina, how many people do you have left? They've all made it out. It's a traveler in Paimon. They're here. There's a trapped caravan that needs our help. We need to rescue them as soon as possible. We'll go together. I'm coming too. I don't know, maybe they'll add these voices later again, but eh. It's just a caravan, okay. Gotta go fast. <laughs> what the? Two markers, no need. Oh, there it is. Stay safe. We've got this. Oh my lord, she is hard. Oh shit. It's actually it's kinda hard, I'm not gonna lie.
Okay, okay. Oh my lord, what the fuck? <laughs> I I really thought I was done for. Yes. I can't thank you enough. Thank you, Dodar. Don't worry about it. <laughs> We're just glad you're okay. Let's see. Your goods look fine too. Guess the abyss isn't after Mora. <laughs> that should be the last abyssal pylon near the children of Echoes. I hope so. Phew, that was scary, but we did it. By the way, where's Seat Lolly? I thought she would come with you. No. The masters of the Nightwind also got attacked, so she went back to help her tribe. She said we can deal with the ancient name later. Yeah, that makes sense. The attacks are more urgent. True. All right, this isn't a good place to talk. Let's head back to the tribe. Yeah. Flina! Kiss, 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 mama, mama, mama. I love you. I mean, Arkino's good too. <laughs> Sephiroth! Du, 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 Sephiroth! Oh, Arkino! <laughs> Hello there. Looks like a few people were hurt after all. Oh, I should have got here sooner. It's not your fault. <sighs> The abyss threw a lot at us at once. I rushed out as soon as I heard the alarm, and there were already so many monsters. Before long, Kachina brought over a whole group of warriors, and just like that, we destroyed several pylons as a team. Good job. I wasn't in charge or anything. We just have to be together. Still, I think this proved that camping in the wild was a great idea. That's how we were able to respond so fast. Indeed. Let me just pour myself a drink real quick. Oh my god, it's cold and delicious. And wet. Oh my lord, it's really wet. Oh my lord, I, I just got big. Hold on, what the fuck? Okay. Put the lid back on it. Okay, whoever, whoever thought th those fucking lids that were attached to the bottle was a good idea, fucking kill him. Sleeping on the wet grass was pretty uncomfortable, but it was worth it. I don't mean to be negative, but the situation is not looking good. You mean the situation in the Night Kingdom, right? Yeah, I feel the same way. We've managed to keep it a secret all this time, but more and more people are realizing something's wrong. Yep. <sighs> it's impossible not to feel anxious when things are getting worse by the second, and all we can do is wait. Oh, delicious. And we still don't know when the final two heroes are going to appear. That just means we need to buy the Pyro Archon more time. Keep pushing, everyone. Every battle is worth something. Yeah. You really are an eternal optimist, Mulani. <laughs> you always find a way to cheer people up. Yep. Why, thank you. <laughs> I guess it's one of my better qualities. True. I learned a few things you should know. We share the captain's intel. So, specifics aside, the Pyro Archon confirmed the Gnosis can resolve the crisis, but it comes at a huge price. Wait, we weren't allowed to share this, were, were we? Oh well. And somehow, the captain finds out about it, goes to fight the Pyro Archon, and calls her out for having a solution but refusing to use it. Hmm. Honestly, if he has the same information as us, I can't really blame him. It's probably because our plan is so risky, we don't even know if the six heroes will reunite in time. We talked to Malika before we left the stadium. According to her, the cost of the captain's plan is too high. And, well, it makes sense. If that was truly the better choice, she would have picked it. Hmm. Yeah, I trust the Pyro Archon. When I was upset about Kachina's disappearance, she was really sincere and patient with me. Plus, she burned down all those precious mementos for Kachina. She's already proven how much she values even a single person's life. True. When it comes to Natland's survival, there's no way she would hold back. I agree. Maybe the captain weighed the cost and came to his own conclusion, but I'm sure we have different priorities. Yeah. Life is important. Screw the captain. But so are history and memory. I'm on my weaker side too. As the Archon, she can't tell us everything, but it seems like she wasn't holding anything back this time. The next question is, if the captain found a new way to save Natlan, how come the Pyro Archon has never heard of it? True. Yeah, 
And isn't she Ephraim since Naya? Why would Fatui want to save Nedlan? Yeah, kinda. Mm. We still don't have enough information. Boops. <laughs> Once we figure out what the Fatui are doing, we'll have our answer. Let's head back then. Malika said her intelligence officer should return soon. Yeah. With how many Fatui there are, someone's bound to give something away. True. Sounds good. I have a few theories of my own. With a bit more information, we just might get to the bottom of the whole thing. Maybe. Want to join our garrison, Mulani? I was just about to ask. Count me in. Hell yeah. <sighs> if I was just a bit faster, we could have prevented a few people from getting hurt. People who could help us in the next battle. <sighs> it's all a chain reaction. True. Also, I guess since there is a attack on the on the people of the springs, they aren't attacking there now. Then you should go register right away. It shouldn't take long. Everyone's looking for people. Register? Nah. I'll just follow you around. You know, go where you go, do what you do. Um, okay. But then, you have to follow my orders. <laughs> you got it. I just don't want to make the trip back. It's so far. <laughs> Alright. See you all later. Let's get together and celebrate once this is over. Oh, you betcha! Okay. Turn the speaker's chamber. Oh, damn, all the way back to the thing. Damn, dude. One moment. Uh. Okay, at least this quest is pretty short, kind of. <laughs> Let's go. Malika! Oh, Chatska and Kuichi are here! Wait, are you okay, Kuichi? Guess not. Uh, I'm fine. No need to worry. They ran into the Fatui while out on a mission and decided to follow them. Oh my. The Fatui? The Fatui wanted to chew you? Calm down and let me explain. Here's what happened. Oh, what happened? Watch out. It's the Fatui. But they're fighting abyssal uh thingamajigs. Were they attacked by the abyss? No, wait. It looks yeah. like they're protecting a group of travelers. Over there. Do you see? Yeah. You're right. That's a traveling group from Natlan. Could they be trading for something? Let's keep observing for now. I like her ears. <laughs> We're glad you're okay. Given the appearance of abyss monsters all over Natlan, you should cancel your journey and seek shelter at the stadium or one of the tribes. Yeah. Th th thank you so much. I wish there was something we could give you. We don't expect anything in return. We were out on a mission and saw you being attacked. It was our decision to help. Yeah. For once or for two, we are the good guys. <laughs> if you truly wish to repay the favor, you can keep this a secret. If anyone asks, just say you were saved by warriors from Natlan. Oh, okay. We can do that. Huh. What? But. Nani? We're not asking you to cover up our activities. We haven't done anything. Simply wishes to remain undisturbed. Hmm. Nonetheless, the decision remains yours. If we wanted to keep you quiet, we would have employed a harsher method. Got it. We'll get going now. Did you hear that? They mentioned a captain. Isn't that who the Pyro Archon is looking for? Hmm. Exactly. We could be onto something big. Still, there was no trade. They were just helping people in need. I didn't sense an ulterior motive. Hmm. I didn't believe the captain when he said he wanted to save Natlan. But based on what we just saw, it's possible he was telling the truth. Hmm. Maybe we've been wrong about the Fatui this whole time. I don't know, man. It's too early to say. 
I still don't trust them. Let's follow them and see what's really going on. Does it so sure doesn't where they were headed. Looks tricky. It's heavily guarded on all sides. Hmm. Koichi. Oops. Wait for me here. I'll go in and check it out. Oh no, you don't. How are you planning to get through all the guards? Look, I can use this terrain to my advantage. With our tribe's special way of getting around, I doubt they'll see me coming. Hmm. We still can't see anything on the inside. What if you can't find cover? You won't have anyone to watch your back if you go in alone. B bitch, your sister is, is, better, is more capable of this than you. Shut the fuck up. The more heavily guarded the location, the more valuable the secrets. Even if the captain isn't here, we can still figure out what the Fatui are planning. That intel is worth the risk. Huh, <sighs> fine. You're not gonna listen to me anyway. So let me come with you. What? That's even more risky. You've been running around saving people for days. You're already at your limit. Mm. I'm confident I can protect myself. I'm not sure you can say the same. At least right now. I can. Mm -hmm. Can you? You really believe that? Fine, don't believe me. But you can't honestly tell me infiltrating a heavily guarded Fatui hideout all on your own sounds more reasonable. You know, Girl. Up, even if I insisted on doing something, it never gave you any trouble. I'm not sure you can say the same. Ugh. <sighs> all right, all right. If we start arguing, this will never end. We can't let this opportunity go to waste. Hmm. <laughs> Guess that means I win. Don't worry, you're not the only capable young person from our tribe. I can handle this. Sure. All right, same plan as usual. We split up, communicate with hand signals, make sure our blind spots are covered, and support each other once we strike. Okay. Got your ropes? Yeah, let's go. Hmm. Oh, the sneaky. The Fatui have eyes all over this place. I should wait for Koichi's signal. Okay. Okay, she's looking up the high ground, okay. Now. Go. What the fuck? Oh no. Not sure how many chances I'm gonna get. To act. Jim down. You sneaky bitch. Oh my lord, that was close. Good. I made it without getting caught. I should get to that platform over there. But it's guarded by the Fatui. Hmm. Koichi should have line of sight. I'll wait for her signal. Okay. The people not even spotted her, man. What the heck? But there's also some fat guy there. There's also a Twitch mod. Or Discord mod. Discord mod. That's it. Now's my chance. Okay, close the area and leave the platform. Okay. Now I was down there. It's no use staying in one place. I should keep moving. Bitch, you're gonna give yourself away. Looks like Chaska is helping me by keeping an eye on the Fatui movements. I'll wait for her signal. Now. They're looking. Time to move. Go. Hmm. Probably can't make it over in one go. 
I'll wait for my next chance. Now's my chance. I tried to get if you get caught. <laughs> I hmm. made it! That'll show my sister. Let's see. The Fatui's occupying all the best locations. If we could just get past them somehow. Wait, I've got it! Draw yourself in as bait. What? To hide the mysterious fear. What? Oh. Dendro. Capybara. Oh my god. He fainted. Huh? What's that noise? Did something explode? <laughs> oh, it stinks! <laughs> what the fuck, man? What the heck is that? What do you think you're doing? What? I could ask you the same thing. Oh my god. Discourse. Arjun. Looks like they just needed an excuse. They've probably had enough of this job already. Hmm. The people on the hill over there left to help their comrades. This is our chance. Yeah. Come get me, Chaska. I hope she gets this hand signal. That's Koichi's signal. <laughs> Smart idea. All right, time to move. Give me your hand, quick. Coming. Hmm. I checked, and this way is completely clear. It should lead us to the deepest part of this place. Oh my. Okay, now what? Well, I was pretty helpful, right? <laughs> you know, everyone usually jumps at the chance to work with me. Not my own sister, though. No, she avoids me like her life depends on it. Bruh. I was wrong, Koichi. You've done well. Wait, hmm. you're just gonna admit it? Now I look like the mean one. Because you are. <laughs> Let's focus on the task at hand. We're in the heart of enemy territory. The more time we waste, the more dangerous this becomes. All right, all right. If you're not gonna take the bait, then I'll drop it. Hmm. Looks like the Fatui are here to dig something up. I'm surprised they mobilized this many people. I doubt it's because they're interested in our culture and history. Yeah, what is that thing? It seems like they're looking for a dragon relic called the Source Mechanism. How do you know that? The device is ancient. Barely any information survives to this day. And even people from that land don't know how to use it. Why would this be the Fatui's target? I don't know. Hmm, not bad. Looks like it's in good shape. This should be what our Lord's looking for. <laughs> Took us long enough. Yeah, no ski. Let's get this thing back. Back? Back where? Should we keep following? You really want to keep going? Of course. We make a good team, don't you think? Sure. No also desert. <laughs> what was that sound? Uh-oh. We've been spotted. Time to go. Falling rock incoming! Watch out for your gadget! What? What? <laughs> Nani? You'll regret that! After them! Bruh. Then they ran. They ran so far away. Once we got them off our tail, we went back to observe some more. They'd collected several identical pieces of something. Oh my. It looked like they were waiting, though. So we decided to come back. Okay. So, Koichi got injured trying to get them off your tail? <laughs> hmm. She pushed herself too hard and collapsed on the way back to the stadium. Uh-oh. Well, I didn't cause you any trouble while we were fighting, right? So, my perfect record remains. Girl. You've done very well. I could make a comment on knowing your limits, but it's not my place. Hmm. Wow. I know, I know. I'm already reflecting on my actions. Hmm. So, our current intel suggests the Fatui is after the source mechanism. The device is a complete mystery, even to us. <sighs> what does the captain want with it? I have no idea. 
but it's safe to assume the device could serve a similar purpose to the Gnosis. Hmm. Shilonen, I need you to gather every scholar in Natland familiar with the secret source. Yeah, I'll get right on it. Thank you both for your hard work. Koichi, it's time for you to get some rest. Oh, and there are gifts from your patients waiting at the speaker's chamber. Oh my. I prepared a small gift of my own as a token of gratitude. I'll send it to your home along with the others. Okay. My patients. That's so nice of them. <laughs> Guess that means I'm doing something right. You don't need to give us anything, Archon. We were just doing our duty for Natlan. I should take Koichi home now. <laughs> <laughs> well, if Koichi doesn't want her favorite source crackers, then... Uh, I accept. Thank you, Archon. <laughs> wow. What am I gonna do with you? Yeah. There's some for no. the rest of you as well. They're one of my favorites too, so don't be shy. Can I have you instead? I mean, what? I'll start investigating the source mechanism right away. If I learn anything, you'll be the first to know. Okay. <laughs> Yummy snacks! <laughs> what? What now? Oh, because I just can treat you. Where are you at? The other side? What the heck? Okay, I guess. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm pretty sure I can go outside from here. I guess their tribe is all the way up here. Also, this is where the next area is gonna be in in in, in 5.2. <laughs> but this big, I guess. What's next for you two? I'm taking Koichi home, with our parents there to keep an eye on her. I can make sure she actually rests. <laughs> hey, it's not like I'm some kind of prisoner. I'll be fine in a day or two. There's no need to go all the way home. Hmm. That's what you always say. Everything's no big deal until you collapse. What if the abyss hmm. attacks again? You're saying if I let you rest in a hotel, you're not going to rush out the minute you hear the alarm? No. I won't. Triple promise I won't. Mm-hmm. Sure. Fine. On the off chance something like that were to happen, I might. But I'm a hmm. doctor. I have a duty to help people in need, no matter how hard or tiring the work gets. So you need to look after yourself too. I guess you're right. But I don't have to like it. <laughs> this reminds Simon of when we first met. Except you were the one trying to stop Chaska from doing something dangerous. <laughs> I'd do the same for anyone trying to put their life in danger. As a doctor, I don't want people to get hurt because of a rash decision. Hmm. Then try to see things from my perspective. You clearly want to protect your patients. So can't you understand why your own sister would feel the same way about you? Yeah. The two of you are the same, you know? Huh. I disagree. I understand the risks and costs of my decisions. Who wants to be like her? Overconfident, always making excuses when things go wrong. <laughs> That's just not true. <laughs> you think I don't have proof? Okay, okay, don't get into another fight. <laughs> just pretend Paimon never said anything. Don't worry, Paimon. You didn't do anything wrong. Arguing is just how we communicate. Neither of us really takes it to heart. Plus, I guess we are similar in some ways. <sighs> Maybe I rush into things without thinking. But I learned that from her. Wow. Her family. I can't help it if my older sister is a bad influence. Okay. You don't have to put it that way. <laughs> exactly. So, you're all good now? This is probably normal for them. Neither of us are really the type to back down. So we'll always have our differences. But still, we get along in our own way. <laughs> Plus, I know you'll wake up one day and realize I was right all along. I just need to wait. Sure. Be my guest. Come on. Let's get you home. See you later, <laughs> Traveler and Paimon. I'll be back once everything's settled at home. Okay. No rush. At least grab a nice meal with your family. See you later. Bye, you two. Take care of yourselves out there. 
I hope so. Well, we've learned a lot. Let's go over everything that we know so far. You and Pound try to analyze the captain's goal. You feel like you're just one step something something. <laughs> huh? Footsteps? Silali. Ahem. Uh, sorry for popping up out of nowhere. Again. <laughs> uh, why do you look so awkward? Oh, is there something you need from us? Okay, I won't beat around the bush. Oh, and I'm sorry for interrupting your rest. I'll treat you to some charcoal grilled steak to make up for it. Okay. Awesome! Just give us your orders! Hey, friends don't order each other around. I'm just here to share some news. Remember what we talked about before parting ways? Oh, yeah. You mentioned how Aurora has always wanted to save Natland. And something about his soul being Paimon and the Traveler discussed it after you left, and we think Aurora is probably back with the captain. What do you think? I agree with your hypothesis. And just now, I confirmed it myself. Oh no. Auroron came back. He helped the masters of the Nightwind defend our camp. Oh. What? Came back? Did he say anything? I told him to give up whatever he's doing, but he refused. He said they're just one step away from success, so there's no way he can back out now. Apparently, Man. he came back to fulfill his duty to our tribe. When he left, he said it was because he still has a duty to Natland as a whole. Bruh. I'm not surprised you let him go at all. I had to prioritize my tribe. Besides, the situation was intense. I couldn't focus on outside and inside threats at the same time. Mm -hmm. Plus, he was on guard. He knew I would try to go after him, so he made sure to keep his distance. I kept an eye out for a good opportunity, but it never came. Hmm. <sighs> All these years of calling me Granny, and I couldn't do a single thing for him in the end. Don't say uh, that! Your tribe all raised him together, right? That couldn't have been easy. <sighs> You're right. Seeing him come back reminded me of when he was little. Running around the tribe, dropping by random houses right and left. He's not only a child of the Masters of the Nightwind, but a child of Natlan. Mm -hmm. It's only natural for a child to want to do something for their family. Yeah. Besides, Auroron is my apprentice. He might have a few tricks up his sleeve, but I guarantee I know every single one. <laughs> Wait, what are you saying? Look. What? Remember how I said Auroron's soul is fragmented? This is the talisman I created to keep it stable. Oh my. And this gem is what makes the talisman work. It just so happens that Auroron is due for a gem replacement. Uh, since I can't get close to him, I put the new gem in a supply bag and asked Aoife to bring it to him. Okay. You guys know Aoife, right? No? Well, he's a pretty famous vet around these parts. He's always bringing me all sorts of things, and he happens to be very good friends with Auroron. I thought Aoife was a woman, but oh well. Aoife doesn't know what's going on, so he agreed, no questions asked. Auroron would find the gem as soon as he opened the bag. He knows how important it is, so I knew he would make the switch. Okay. He probably suspected that I tampered with it. But here's the catch. The trick is on the bag. The moment he touched mm -hmm. it, a portion of his memories were copied onto the old gem, which he no longer needed. And this is the old gem, I guess. That's amazing. You can do something like that? Uh, most people can't. But I can. Screenshot your time. <laughs> that trick he used to bring you to the Night Kingdom isn't anything special, by the way. My technique is much more subtle. He won't notice anything. <laughs> so in other words, we have a whole backup of Auroron's memories in this gem. Yeah, what's in there, even? <laughs> The kid thinks he can take me on? Like I wasn't the one who taught him everything he knows? <laughs> That's amazing, Seat Lolly. Let's take a look right away! Once we get to the bottom of this, we can finally track him down. Uh, I know he thinks of me as his grandma, but do you think he'll get mad at me for this? You can be honest. Huh, that's a tough question. You probably were impressed. 
It's possible. Families disagree sometimes, but as a family, you have to do this. To be honest, I've always doubted my ability to look after him. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't stop the ceremony all those years ago. And now, I'm useless again. Oh, don't say that. But if I stop here, it will haunt me until I'm 500 years old. Every night I'll wake up in a fit of anger. And then start crying. And then start freaking out. Yeah. Right. First anger, then tears. Oh, wait, who are you calling a crybaby? I'm not. You're just making it worse, traveler. <laughs> that face. I need to look at his memory. Even if he resents me, refuses to see me, or runs away for good. I don't care, and I won't blame him. A family does whatever it takes to protect their own. Yeah. You sure you'll be okay? We can come with you if you want. Did you just say you'll come with me? Is yeah. that okay? We have a pretty good reason to see it too, don't we? Because, uh, right, we need leads on the Padui. We should be there. You really mean it? Fine, you can come. Just promise me you'll see this through. No backing out. Got it? Don't okay. worry, we're professional adventurers. Ah, well, then I place my trust in your professionalism. All right, time to sneak into someone else's memory and engage in some, uh, unwanted spying. Does it have to be now? <clears throat> uh, you heard it here first. I wouldn't be doing this if I had any other choice. <sighs> okay, okay. Are you ready? No, I'm ready. Uh... What will we see? Oh, it's his garden. Look how good you're doing. You'll grow into nice big radishes in the future. Nice. And you? Nifa says you're taking up too much space, but I think you're a good tree. What do you think? Hmm. Hey! How's it going, Auroron? Okambi. Good. How are you, Uncle Okambi? Ah, can't complain. What you up to? Naming your vegetables again? No, just some idle conversation. <laughs> Sounds fascinating. What did they say? They told me you were coming and that you would take some produce with you. <laughs> Only if you're offering. Hmm. By the way, I ran into Aoife yesterday. He told me Chaska's fostering a Saurian at his place. Said the thing trampled over a part of your radish garden. <sighs> I hope you two didn't get into a huge fight. Mm. No, don't worry. I'll find a way for him to make it up to me. Bruh. I've already wrapped your share of the produce. Here you go. You really knew I was coming. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Light up the smoke and you can see the path through the shadows. That's what everyone says. Hey, have you seen that strange group of people that just appeared out of nowhere? But is that an ear? <laughs> appeared out of nowhere? I don't think so. It's the Fatui. Their leader seems like a big deal. He didn't bring many men with him, but they're all elite warriors. Hmm. It seems like they're looking for someone. But I wouldn't go around asking too many questions. If you run into them, be careful. Okay. You're from the Masters of the Nightwind, are you not? Why do you live here alone? I enjoy living by myself out in the wild. Uh-huh. I guess you're from the Fatui. One everyone's calling a big deal. Not an inaccurate description. Hmm. I'm looking for someone who may be known to you. Sitalali is her name. Granny? What does an outlander want with her? I've heard the name. You have business with her? There's no point to further questioning if you insist on hiding things from me. I shall seek answers elsewhere. Oh, you could tell mm. I was lying, and now he's leaving? Give up just like that? Hey! At least tell me why you're looking for Seed Lolly. Yeah, why? It's none of your concern. I have my own means of tracking her down. Why are the Fatui looking for her? What does she have to do with them? I can't just let them go like this. I have to figure out what Okay. 
Now what? Hmm. I've just been studying the ley lines and asking for leads on Granny. I can definitely rule out some sort of invasion. The situation has seen no true improvement. The Pyro Archon did not fulfill her promise. Oh. My lord. Hmm. Ignore him. He is no threat. Hmm. He knows I'm following him, but he doesn't seem to care. He's strong. Hmm. I can tell. There's something unusual about him, but also familiar in some way. I can't describe it. Uh, what? What is it? My lord, I... I feel dizzy. A ley line disturbance. Certain presences have been forced to wander outside their rightful realm. Oh? What? From the masters of the night wind. How did you know that? Is he sending those escaped souls back into the ley lines? How did he do that so easily? Soul hmm. clearing is supposed to be extremely difficult. This could be related to why he's searching for Granny. Ah, I feel much better. Thank you, my lord. Think nothing of it. Stay vigilant and continue to gather information. Hmm. The abyss could attack at any moment. If you notice any irregularities, assume drill formation and be prepared to fight. However, there is no reason to over-engage. Information is our first priority. Yeah. Yes, sir. Why are the Fatui fighting against the Abyss? Do they really mean us no harm? Hmm. I mean, I guess the Abyss is their enemy as well. Maybe. Ugh, pardon me, good lord. I'm feeling sick, man. Fuck. I've been following them this whole time and still they ignore me? Do they really not care? Was this right before the battle? It seems like his subordinates referred to him as the captain. I've never heard of him before. And now he's headed to the stadium. That's unusual. Oh, what is he gonna do? You two. With me. Everyone else? Wait here as instructed. Send word to the other teams to retreat immediately if this fails. Yes, sir. He's going inside. Mm. But the Pyro Archon is in there. What does he want with her? Forgive me, my lord. Allow me to check one more time. Do you truly wish to do this? The time for idle observation is over. It now falls on me to act. Oh, shit. This nation is out of time. Yes, sir. He just walked straight into the stadium. What is he gonna do? <laughs> yep, there's a battle. They're both incredibly strong. How long will they have to fight until someone comes out on top? <gasps> Wait, this feeling. Just like the other day near the ley lines. It's faint. Like a soul's trying to escape. Where is it coming from? Oh. Is that why he's looking for Granny? If he dies here, then all clues will be lost. I can't let that happen. And then the mist happened. As for you, I must confess, I did not expect that little trick of yours to save the day. No matter how dense the fog, as long as the sun remains, we cannot turn day into night. She could have dispelled it. She simply chose not to. Ah, you don't have much time. And you're injured on top of that. What do you plan to do next? Oh, wait, this was at the end of the previous, uh, previous chapter. We saw him talk to somebody, but we didn't know who. I'm beginning to see just how useful you may turn out to be. You heard something from here. Didn't you? <coughs> oh shit. No need to force yourself. I've never seen anyone match the Pyro Archon in battle before. Hmm. I didn't expect you to intervene at such a critical moment. You know I've been following you. Why didn't you stop me? When walking in the forest, 
It is only natural to encounter wild beasts. However, not every beast has the courage to come out and fight. And yet, one of those very beasts saved your life. Hmm. Then speak. What do you want? I didn't save you because I wanted something. My soul is more perceptive than others. I can sense that the ley lines are extremely weak. I don't know what the Pyro Archon is planning. Can she really save us? Yeah. The questions you asked her just now, well, I've had very similar doubts. So I felt like I had to help you. Ah. So mm. you can tell the truth. That was quite a reckless decision to make. I'm not sure you realize that. There's no turning back for me now. What I did back there is going to get me in a lot of trouble. Hmm. You attacked the Pyro Archon in broad daylight, and I used my spell to save you. A single glance was likely all it took for her to recognize my tribe. Hmm. So, we're in the same boat. Seem to care little for my thoughts on the matter. It's too late for that. Start from the beginning. Why are you looking for Sitlali? Do you know her? Explain your relation to her first. I know you two are acquainted. It was obvious the moment I mentioned her name. Mm -hmm. Silali is my elder and my teacher. She taught me everything I know. It's my duty to protect her. If you truly wish to protect her, you should have let me perish at the Pyro Archon's hand. Yet, you chose otherwise. Mm -hmm. Do I really need to tell you what that means? I want to do something to change Natlin for the better. We didn't miss something. No, okay. You're stranger than anyone I've ever met. But maybe, just maybe, you can show me the way. Do you know the way? <laughs> strange. Cicelale <laughs> is said to be the legendary Granny Eastley. Someone capable of communicating with the Wyub. And the Wyub are the key to information on the Night Kingdom. Okay. Why do you need knowledge on the Night Kingdom? That is not something you need to know. Don't forget, I saved your life. Do you not believe the Fatui capable of betraying a debt? People can lie, mm. but souls cannot. I can tell there's a weight to your soul. A sense of justice. Okay. You may not live among your tribe, but you certainly know their tricks. I apologize for my rash judgment. You are more capable than I imagined. Hmm. Let's go. We'll see if you have what it takes to join my plan. Well, shit. Are we done yet? <laughs> Red life for three hours, man. Sheesh. Interesting approach. Worth trying, I think. Rather than weaving a net to protect the ley lines, this method would address the root problem by reconstructing the ley lines themselves. Oh, so that's his plan. Donny? Traveler, Paimon. Are you two all right? Yes. Uh, Paimon's fine, just um, <laughs> a little busy. I'm fine. Are you okay, Shilali? Of course. I'm just oh, I'm so mad at him. Bruh. One punch. <laughs> Everything he still can't let go of the past. Hmm. I can kind of understand how he feels. For some reason, he thinks he owes something to the people who cared for him. <laughs> Stubborn, self righteous fool. Where's that gonna get him? Now that he's all grown up, he thinks no one can tell him what to do. Hmm. He thinks he can just run away whenever he wants. <sighs> uh. Show him if he tries to run one more time. He's got another thing coming. Okay. <laughs> Maybe stubbornness runs in the family. Like grandmother, like grandson, as they say. Bruh. 
<laughs> and it just nods. Is that supposed to be a compliment? Huh, that kid's got nothing on me. Bruh. Uh, anyway, back to what we just saw. I don't even know what to make of it. Yeah, the captain seriously wants to reconstruct the ley lines? What does that even mean? Something like the loom of faith, maybe? Like, how does that help with the abyss? I don't know. The loom of fate? Oh, I... It's kind of hard to explain. Basically, it's a device from Conrad that has unbelievable power. Anyway... Hmm. If he really wants to manipulate the ley line, everyone in that land will be affected. Oh, this is weird. He's serious. It lines up with everything you said before. Which means... The captain has been honest from the very beginning. Auroran's memory proves that. Mm -hmm. Why is he so obsessed with saving Natlan? Uh, we've got to tell Malika about this right away. I guess the V really is silent. Yes. She needs to know about this. Okay, let's go. Let's complete it. Uh. Oh shit. Give me that. Well, I'm gonna end it here. Um I'm gonna do another stream tomorrow, probably. Uh a bit earlier than today. Because I still want to do, let's see, this as well. I want to I earn this water. 21 hours left, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that a little bit more early. So I also have some, a little bit more time left to do this as well. Uh, so yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't go anywhere though. Let's see if we can raid a friend who's online, if there's any friends online. Uh, from my eyes online, uh, anywhere else? No, well, okay, just for my ear. Slash raid lord underscore for my ear. Okay, so thanks for watching, thanks for being here, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!